Okay, we are back uh, in the Sunless Sea. Uh, so the last time we played this, we had left off uh, just sort of coming back with a bit of Zoop um, and a bit of transport back and forth from Mount Palmerston, I believe. Uh, we've still got our passenger, which we needed to take to, let's check the notebook here, Guider's Mourn. Uh, and we've got to get um, the Zoop from Mount Palmer, uh, Palmerston, and that'll give us quite a few echoes, as well as some silk from Savior's Rocks. Uh, so let's hop back in and see if there's anything that I'm forgetting that I haven't noted down. Okay, it's a little off to the top of the screen. I think it is still okay, though. We'll see if this loads properly. So, at the end of the previous stream for this, I think we've got, we started off with our urchin gunnery sergeant, and we've picked up an amputation-focused doctor, and I believe a first officer uh, that is, is doing something. I can't quite remember why the first officer, I think he just wanted to either be busy or be at sea. Um, just still loading. Hmm. We'll see. Uh, but we have picked that up, and we also have our current mascot, which is uh, one of the mushroom creatures, uh, whose species name I sadly forget uh, at the moment. Uh, but it replaced our very depressed ferret or weasel, uh, who was who was just sitting there patiently. Uh, very sad about missing the daylight, I believe. Okay. Are we doing something incorrectly here? Let's give it a quick look here. You haven't quietly crashed behind me there, have you? No, we're still good. All right, well. Long loading screens aren't exactly uncommon occurrences in some of the things I play. We'll see. If it uh, if it keeps up for another few minutes here, I think we will try to give it a good old restart. Hopefully, it'll solve itself before then. You know, in the meantime, let's see if we can look up a solution. So it looks like this is actually a bug. So we're going to, there we go. That's an option and we're gonna close this out. Evidently that is a bug that pops up when you load from the continue button instead of from the actual uh, load button itself. So let's see if we can get back here. Alrighty, we're back. We've got a load, we've got an autosave. So I think this is actually what causes that. So let's see if we can auto load from the autosave here. Yeah, there we go. Hey, that's a loading screen. Okay, and we're back. So let's pop this up. So we've got our uh, our gunnery that followed us from the Urchin Gang. 
Um, we've got our uh, amputee doc. Ampu. What, what is the, pro, the the word for when you make somebody else amputees? Is there a word for that? We'll just call her the doc. The doctor that specializes in amputees. Um, and we've got our navigator, our first officer here, that really just wants to escape from shore. Okay, so we've still got this fella. He, we've got to get uh, some silk from Savior's Rocks, and we've got to get those zoop from the uh, Mount Palmerston store. And I believe we actually have some in our hold right now. We've got four out of seven. Yes. Hold on a second. Zoops. Or seven. Seven skins of zoop. Okay, so I guess these are just uh, maybe he's talking about. I think I think the zoop, the zoop itself should be fine. Um, we've got our uh, somewhat interesting admiral here, uh, whom we have been told wants us to head to. Let's take a look here. Depot A Station 3, if my notes are correct. We've got the scholar that's a little concerning at the uh, the museum. And who we may set off if we give them a enigma to chase. Right now, I think it's a good idea to have him here. Him or her or it, perhaps. Who knows? Um, but at the moment... Let's double check what we've got on our map here. So the Mew and the Bonnie Reefs are over here. Mount Palmerston is up here. That was where we were headed for the Zoops, but we'll need a little bit more money. We've headed all the way down to the Iron Republic uh, and past the Cumaean uh, Channel here. Uh, and this, I believe, is the channel that actually goes back up to the surface, if I'm correct. Um, we may want to visit a little further south because we've got the north near area uh sort of opened up here we've got this black spot in between but i think we've actually passed through there a fair bit uh, so i want to try to get the close area of us down here all cleared out um, so i think we'll head down in that direction hopefully we'll be able to find our poor passengers destination uh, because we do still have our original passenger here uh, let's see if we can find where that is. It's got our ambition. Oh yeah, that's also right. We're looking for uh, a cure for the fat uh, at Fathom King's Hold, which we haven't found yet. Um, let's see here. Perhaps. Our passenger died at sea. I do know we needed to drop off a fellow somewhere. Interesting. Maybe maybe I'm looking in the wrong area here. Uh, and we have attention of all three of the named gods so far. We've got salt, we've got stone, and then we've got storm. Uh, and, oh, here we go. Someone in London requires your services. Hold on a minute. So, I suppose that we drop them back off here. We may need to pick them up again. Let's double check here. Some more recruits. The Rose Market. Interesting. Okay, so I think I'm missing our passenger, whomever he or she was. Uh, but I'm pretty sure we have to go somewhere to deliver them that we have not yet been. And I believe that's Guider's Morn. Um, we haven't found a Guider's Morn as far as I've seen. Let's double check here. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything here is Guider's Morn. So let's just 
get to exploring the southern area. We do need to buy more fuel. Uh, we've only got 19 echoes, though. We could... Let's see here. Head to the dock uh, and exchange the Admiralty's favor here for a bit of fuel. We have a bit spared. I don't know if that's actually in the hold or if that's somewhere else here. Oh, here's here's our passenger. Delivery to Depot A station. Um, but that is apparently a tomb colonist. Interesting. Uh, so let's clear out our... Here we go. Uh, let us clear out our port reports, which we've got from the sisters, uh, all the way over in Mount Palmerston. And that actually gives us a, wow, a fair bit of echo. Demuse Gate. Uh, oops, we don't actually want to talk to him yet. Maybe we can ask him for some fuel. But it seems like a tough challenge in order to get fuel. We, we have enough money to get the fuel ourselves now for 10 echoes each. And I think I'd want to set off with Maybe around, hmm, somewhere around six to eight, if we're just heading down uh, along the sort of left edge of the map. I think, let's, let's give it a try to go and get some fuel with a favor. We'll see how this challenge goes. If you've done good work, the Admiralty will issue you with a book of little chitties. Quartermaster is not usually friendly, but you have enough Zaylor's jokes and harbor gossip to set her laughing nostalgically. She is remarkably, remarkably liberal about the measurement of fuel. And we picked up three from that. And we got a total of seven. Oh, that's right, because we picked up some uh, fuel from the port reports. Uh, and we, we are now down one of the Admiralty's favors. Um, seven's actually great. Uh, if... If we have that just for turning in the port reports and going for free, I think we'll just buy maybe one or two more, uh, and we'll buy some more supplies. I've only got one supply at the moment. This seems wrong. We've got three supplies at the moment. Okay, so that is accurate, not, a, uh, not like the fuel up here. So we'll buy some more supplies and then head out, I think. So we'll buy... Let's say seven supplies. Can we afford seven? Let's let's see how many we can afford here. We buy up to six. Six supplies for now. And I'll call it good on the fuel. So this may be this may be a, a journey that's a little unprepared. I, I've got a little familiar with it with the previous stream, but I've sort of lost where I had uh, been going back then. So we're gonna kinda slide back into it slowly. Um, I think we will simply head out. We have met uh, Clattery Air here. We met her father in the um, Vendor Bite. He was, uh, in Vendor Bite, he was maybe one of the um, tomb colonists that we are carrying around. Uh, let's see here. Where have I found you? The menus here are still, still getting me a little bit. Yeah, he was one of the tomb colonists, uh, maybe, or he was just residing there. Uh, but we have met him, and he requested that we not talk to her about his presence there. Uh, at the moment, I'm currently not going to do to that. Uh, not going to do that. Um... And it doesn't look like we have that anyway. It looks like she's got to have more uh, of an interest in her family. But let's let's just talk to her. Let's just talk to her casually. 
does she wield the fork the way she wields a surgical instrument? The cooked flesh arrives still in its shell. From the claws, eight legs, body, and head, she renders a dozen neat, bite-sized piles of shredded flesh, flesh sutured with mushroom, or pinned together with a needle of chitin. Chitin? Something like that. Perhaps she missed her calling as a chef. She denies it. My mother was the child of a surgeon in the first city. You might say that knife work runs in the family. There is a wicked, quirking smile at the corner of her mouth. Then there are the rumors about my father. She would deny there's any truth in those. Okay, and we've gotten a little bit closer. I don't think we've unlocked anything here, but we unlocked something about her father. Or about the, uh, the heir family. Okay. Well, we talked to them. We've talked to... Have we, have we talked to this fellow? Let's talk to this fellow before we leave. Um, and we can increase mirrors here with a secret. How many secrets do we currently have? Four secrets. We've got 36 mirror. And this actually helps us fire a little faster with our gun. Um, let's just dine with him. Let's get to know him a little bit. Especially since we've kind of just hired him since he was a little overzealous on land. He couldn't really get away from the sea. Forgetfulness. Seconds, then thirds disappear in small, hasty morsels. He is nervous and not a gifted conversationalist. You do your best to plug the silence. When you ask about his past, he winces. I can't say, Captain, this, he taps the livid sigil on his temple, which twitches like a scorpion sting, has burned away my memories. I recall I have a brother, but not what his name or where he, uh, or where he is. I remember the names of the ships I've served on, the Implicit, the Bonnie Swan, but not their crew. How did he come by the sigil? He clutches his head. I don't know. I don't know. Thinking about it is like fire in my skull. He grits his teeth. Someone must have hated me very much to curse me with it, but I can't even remember my enemy. Interesting. Oh, and eating dinner is eating through my supplies as well. Okay, we'll buy, we'll buy more supplies before we head out. Um, that's, that's curious. So he's actually lost his memory because of this tattoo that he has. That is fascinating. I think since we've got 36, I think it's a good idea to increase our mirrors. Okay, it just increases it by one. I'm sorry, it's the pain. No, this is what you wanted, I think. He's eager to instruct you like a drowning man striking for air, but he struggles to put words to his understanding. Does his sigil give him his insights, or is he old or is it old learning he has failed to forget? Okay, so we've got a little bit of mirrors, and we're getting that boosted by him as well, uh, as well as some veils. Well, having talked with our crew uh, and eaten up some of our supplies that we we're going to use, we'll spend a little bit of that to head over to five supplies and head down past the Iron Republic. What time we did spend in the Iron Republic was evidently forgotten uh, due to something about the devils down there. Um, but I think while we pass by there, we can head over to these docks. Uh, I believe this is a light ship. We can head over to the dock at Mutton Island uh, and the Cumaean Canal and pick up some port ports there. Uh, and maybe the Iron Republic, uh, though I don't recall the port report there being very... Descriptive. I believe we turned in a blank piece of paper that they still paid us for. So, let's set out here and bring us up to full speed. And so the last time we headed down here, we actually ended up running out of food, and we had a few uh, very willing crew members uh Sac make make a great sacrifice for the for the survival of the crew there. So let's head down this way. We've got a little bit to go before we hit Mutton Island, and we do want to keep our um, our headlight on our front lamp here because we can only discover new locations if it's actually on. Uh, even if we're already in the area of some of these lamp lights here. Okay, it looks like there's a crab here. So I'll actually turn it off to see if we can sneak around this crab. 
green glass and basalt, salt and silence. He's a little close to the dock, but I do want to try to sneak around him undetected. Oh, I guess not. Has he noticed this yet? Yes, he has. Okay. Well, let's see if we can make port before he catches up to us here. Oh my goodness. Wow. He moves real fast. We'll just back up here. My goodness, we're taking... We only took two damage from that, luckily. Let's see if we can chase him here. Uh-oh, fired too early. Let's keep backing up here. And take him out with that. Okay, there we go. So this way we'll be able to pick up some of his material. Uh, we can take it for supplies or dissect it. Since we're a little low on a uh, little low on supplies, I think we'll just pick that up. Oh, it seems it seems that just clears our hunger, so that we didn't actually get any supplies from it. The crew will feast. The glowing flesh is unstable; it crisps and weathers withers as the glow fades. So eat while it's fresh. All right. Well, I guess that'll be good to know for the next time that we encounter some of that. On the horizon, a sickly yellow light glimmers for a moment, then, then fades. Okay. So let's talk to the folks at Quaker's Haven. Once the simple fishing village was a part of London's suburbs, before London fell and the waters ru rushed in, smoke spirals from cottage chimneys, a lonely hill rises behind the town. Oh, okay. So we've got a possible mascot here. We'd have to feed it three supplies, though. A wretched mog. Seems like a cat, yeah. Uh, so let's chat to the fisherman. I believe this is where we get our port reports. Yeah. Pirates plying the waves, smugglers at their work, conate ships putting in to resupply. Nothing dramatic, but enough to interest the Admiralty. It cost us one of our remaining few echoes. It looks like we could have bought more fuel from this island, but it does not look like we have the echoes to do that. We've wandered a little way in. Fisher folk, sailors, and a couple of shady... Oh, a couple of likely pirates. A shady couple of likely pirates. There we go. Uh, and is that a drowny down by the water's edge? They sit around a fire at the Z's edge, passing around a bottle of something viscously black. They're wagering on riddles. Will you join them? Well... We could just walk away. We have tried out this before, uh, and it didn't end up working, but I don't believe there was any negative effects from it. So I think we'll go for the simpler riddle here again. Catch shadow. The fisherman grumbles but pays up. Okay, so we've actually succeeded this time. We've earned our, our single echo back, uh, and we've picked up a few fragments. I believe the fragments, if I recall correctly, turn into secrets eventually. Uh, it doesn't look like there anything, uh, th like there's anything in the shops here uh, to sell. I've been uh, slowly building a market, essentially, in the notebook here of just what certain islands want or don't want, um, especially if we can get them cheaper from London so we can just sail out to them uh, as a uh, quick run to trade but it doesn't look like anything here uh is really desired or sold so let's head a little further south we'll check out the cumaean canal we'll see if this is actually anything because this looked like it could have been something but it seems like that's not the case it looks like it's just a odd sort of reef uh, or island jutting above the ground here So keeping an eye on fuel, I believe we left just at the precipice of having six, and we've burned down one whole barrel here. Plus a little bit into the next, so hopefully it'll only take us about a barrel and a half to get back up, which means we're still in 
within the, the safety of Fallen London. Zaylor lifts her head, sniff sharply, blood on the wind. Let's go check out this harbor then. So we can listen for surface gossip. A card game ends badly when one surface sailor knifes another for the usual reasons. The other player scrabbles for coins that spill out of her pockets, but you scratch up a piece of paper that they overlook. Curious markings, dates, times, code names, a spy's work. We've got a move in the great game. Okay, so we've got more. The great game, it seems like, let's see, the nations of Europe and beyond complete for influence. Their plots to reach even to the neath. So that'll be something we can sell to the admiral there. And I think that sells a little more than for... Uh, than port reports do, uh, de depending on the port report. I know a few islands have been selling for uh, I about 40 each. Sun is dangerous for neath dwellers like your crew, but the surface has its temptation, so we can actually head up to the surface here, though we, we definitely don't have enough supplies, uh, or rather fuel. Uh, you need 22 fuel to reach the surface. Let's double check the supplies and fuel situation here. It doesn't look like we can buy any I believe the fuel, I believe both of these are actually 20 echoes more expensive than in London. And it doesn't look like they have anything uh, that they particularly desire. Okay, so let's head further down to the Iron Republic here. We're burning through the fuel at a, a slightly higher pace than I was expecting or hoping for. With any luck, we'll see if we can do something over in the uh, the Iron Republic down here. There's actually a ghost light out on the water. I want to investigate that. So what is this? Oh, it's a Jilly Fleur. Okay. That's got a lot of health. Oh, it's coming for me. Hit for eight damage, so that's a little much. I think two, one or two good shots should get it here. There we go. Oh, we've taken care of it. Let's see what we can pull up from the Jilly Fleur. So we can eat it and get some supplies. Or... We can let it disperse and get a port report. I think hmm, our supplies are running just as low as our fuel is at this point. But a port report for this, I don't believe we've ever had, so we don't know how much it pays for. I think we'll actually let this one do a port report. From above, the Jilly Fleur's cap does look a little like a woman's face. She dissolves like a smeared paint. Like smeared paint, rather. Okay, so this doesn't actually give a port report. This gives a Z story. Well, let's hope that boat isn't unfriendly. It doesn't look like it is. Uh, and we'll... Oh, shoot. Is it unfriendly? It's sort of tailing us here. Okay. Doesn't look like it's all that interested in us. So I think we'll, we, just like before, we've only made it to the Iron Republic and we're already sort of out of fuel here. Uh, we'll dodge Adam's doom. Sizzling vapors rise from the sea. Time slips sideways. A coil of rope has stung a stoker and his fellows beat it to death. We are under the hand of the iron. Okay, so it looks like this area is just a little out there. It's a little insane. Uh, which does match with the last time that we went here. It seemed like we didn't quite recall anything from around here, but we'll see if we can get a little further into the mysteries here. Um, especially as we are running very low on fuel, we don't actually have enough to make it back home, uh, back, back to Fallen London. So let's double check here. 
factory engines roar like false line. Blood thunders in the dock pipes. Crimson lightning skitters across the deck, leaps to the curls, leaps to the rails, curls there like a cat. The city is reflected in the glassy, calm harbor water. The citizens there have the heads of dogs and serpents. Hell has brought freedom to the Iron Republic, freedom from all laws, even those of nature. So we could have picked up a cannoneer. We could set our sailors ashore, but I don't know if that's a good idea, considering how insane this area is. We'll just compile a port report here. Sensation of the Republic are let's say sensations of the Republic are overwhelming. This is a desire for years. That is a hatred for fountains. Here is an emotion that can only be expressed mathematically. Now you're awash with the nostalgia for the hatching of the egg. Write it down. Write it all down. Perhaps you'll be rid of it. Hearts haven't changed at all. Evidently that could happen. We've gained a tale of terror and a memory of distant shores. That's nice. So is there anything else here that we can visit? Could mount a new weapon if we had Stygian ivory and a devil bones dice. Should we put that down in the notebook? Maybe. I suppose I suppose that's an option that we can explore at a later date. Uh so forward weapon. For seven Stygian iron. Ivory. Seven Stygian ivory. And 13, 12 Devil Bones dice. Okay. Uh, we could pick up a cannoneer, but we've already got one. She doesn't give a whole lot here, um, but she is a urchin's friend. She is the one urchin that followed us out to sea. So I think we'll just keep that sort of in mind if we ever, if she ever has something happen to her. Let's check out the market. On days such as this, the market is filled with crucified dragons and laws in waiting. They whistle a welcome. Is the shops to have the merchants in their doctrine masks will now accept echoes. Excellent. Okay. Uh, so we've got the option to trade for echoes. Um, all four of them that we have, but we have picked up a bit of terror. Let's see what the shops here have. They buy Zoop, but we're picking that up from Mount Palmerston. I think there they, we can get them for 70. But it looks like here, they're looking for, generally they're looking for supplies. We could buy, sell off our supplies and buy some fuel. Oh, the fuel is at a greatly discounted price. Maybe not from fall in London, but certainly from other places out here. Uh, we could use some getting back. Dang, I don't quite want to sell the Zoop because it's worth a thousand if we collect up to seven from Mount Palmerston. But it'll get us a lot of the way to getting fuel. Well, we'll be able to essentially completely refuel on fuel here. For now, let's let's uh, write down the sale prices that we've got here. So they're looking for supplies for 25. That sells for a little more than we can buy them in London. And this is the Iron... Where the heck are we? Iron Republic. So supplies sell for 25. No, for 25. Hold up here. 25 Echoes. And Zoop sells for 
77. And then we can purchase off fuel here. So I think maybe, maybe the correct option, since we're trying to go further south here, is to sell off one of our zoops. We'll be selling it off at more than we bought it for. We will be one down. We'll be able to get it back when we get up to Fall in London. And then buy up fuel. We won't be able to buy supplies, sadly, is the issue. Um, but if we do buy fuel, I think it should be enough to get us back. And maybe we can buy a sack of dark drop coffee beans here. I haven't seen this anywhere else. So to buy is eight echoes and to sell is nothing for fuel and the dark drop coffee beans. Thirty eight to buy and again, nothing to sell. Yeah, I think we'll sell off the soup here. We'll buy up to... We'll buy a single sack of dark drop coffee beans so we can sell that later. And then we will buy up fuel. And that will give us... 19. How much fuel will that give us? That'll give us four fuel. Maybe one more. Five fuel. So that'll let us go around a little further south to see if we find an island down there. Uh, if not, it'll let us adventure around there for a little bit and head up back to Fallen London to see if we can sell these coffee beans for anything worthwhile. Uh, and it looks like the only thing left is that Artificer's Project. Our can't, uh, gunnery sergeant, our potential gunnery sergeant, has not gone anywhere or has uh, rather gone somewhere else and has disappeared from our reach so let's head out to sea oops not what I was intending there looks like we're heading into a mist down here we have never explored any further than this that is a big ship uh, but it looks like we can sneak around it. Right, we're back out of the fog here. Okay, and we've had an event. In the watches of the night, you pad softly past the hatch to the crew chambers. A man cries out softly in his sleep desperately. Another. Ooh, okay. So we've got a one in three chance to hear about what they're seeing. I think I want to hear about this, since our terror isn't very high. The whole, and eyes and a face, the whole neath lit up like a snuffer mask. There's something in the roof, Captain, it's the roof. It's watching us, eyes and a face, eyes and a face. You have him subdued, no discipline this time, but you require the first officer to keep an eye on him. We've gained some terror, and we've gained some fragments. I think, whoa. let's turn on our lights again here. There we go, that'll slow the spread of terror. Our terror is 37. So that's sort of getting up there. Looks like a volcanic island down here. Discovered Castle Clare. Uh-oh, a glorious frigate with a lot more health than I want to deal with. Uh, we could get more power here. But it doesn't look like he's too terribly interested in us at the moment. So it looks like out here there's a lot of creatures. Came on deck to find metal sharp with the metal sharp with sparks. A zonal coronas haunt the ship. This is Dawn's Edge. Oh, and there's some weird ocean patterns here. So what's what is all this stuff? Is that an enemy or is that a Discovered Zelo's town, 
50 fragments, and Grand Geode. Is there a dock here we can dock at? Uh, you know, I'm going to circle back around. I think it'll be on this side. I'm sort of concerned as to what those spiraling somethings are. Because I feel like they will be... Uh, maybe it's just a weather pattern? Wave slap the side of the surf far below something moves. I wonder what that means, because that's popped up a couple times, but I haven't noticed anything in the water. Maybe that indicates we're near an island or something? We can't... It doesn't look like there's any docks here at Zelo's town. Maybe that's something we have to find later. Let's scooch a little further north to avoid the ship's detection. Oh, there's, there's actually a dock there somewhere. Okay. Uh, we'll circle around. We've got a single supply left in order to satiate the crew. But we do have plenty of food. So where's the dock here? It must be uh, between these ports? Oh no, it's actually... Okay, so it's actually in the mountain itself. That's a... Interesting. The glassy chop of dark water, the iron clatter of feet at the hatchway. So yeah, we can dock here. Interesting. The Grand Geode, a distant song like a mirage. A naval base with the Royal Navy's emblems curiously amended. Efficient, bright-eyed women and men work briskly everywhere you look. They are singing hymns with unfamiliar words. Hard-faced Royal Marines watch you carefully, barring entry to the Geode's heart. A plaque by the docks has been defaced with orange paint, but you can still make out the original inscription. Station V Adjunct. Station 5? We need to make it to Station 3, but I guess this isn't it. Let's compile a port report first here. Uh, but we've got to do that discreetly. The Marines are watching. Uh... I wonder, I guess we can talk to, so we can see if we can talk to somebody here. The Commodore may be able to give you a few minutes. The Commodore shakes your hand warmly. He's a handsome, open-faced fellow in an immaculate Navy uniform. His office is equally handsome. It overlooks the glittering interior crystal cliff. It must be as well lit as any study in the Neath. He deflects questions about the purpose of this installation, classified, you know but smilingly offers you tea, biscuits, and mineralogical an anecdotes. The biscuits are good, but the anecdotes rather blend one into the next. You find yourself nodding and then jerk suddenly awake. The Commodore is smiling. Your cup is empty. You feel well, very well. A little euphoric, even. Come back soon, he says softly. We've lost five terror. Oh, that's great. We lost some terror. We've got a memory of distant shores. We have memoirs of a sunstroke. And a menace. The light, it's pretty. So were we drugged here? I guess that must have been the crystals in the cliff. And we've got a few more options here. So we can purchase an element of dawn from the Commodore. Uh, presumably that requires crew members for some reason. But it also requires vital intelligence. And a whole lot of supplies. Or we could get a new officer here. Uh, but sadly, we already have an officer. Hmm. Mirrors and veils. Mirrors and pages. We've already got quite a few veils, so maybe pages is the correct option here. And it doesn't look like we actually have to spend anything her on her except for Memoirs of a sunstroke we've just which we've just picked up here and we I haven't figured out a use for anything in terms of that. Let's see if we can find that in our journal here. So it looks like our memoirs that's just something that we've got a quality of. Well taking her away from this place put us in poor relations with the island? Especially since a dark spectacled woman marches up to you in some haste. Captain, take me with you. I am no longer welcome here, and I will show you where we need to go. 
Doesn't look like there's any shops. I'm worried that if we take her with us, it will result in getting into poor relations with the Commodore. Because he definitely seems like he has something up his sleeve. He, he's not telling us something. He's entirely too crisp, too clean. And I'm uncertain whether he drugged us or exposed us to the crystals in some way that we were suffering from since we've lost that sort of memory. I think we'll pick her up. Welcome aboard. Here I am. A ship, I suppose, is both always here and never there because there becomes here. We now have somebody named Carnelian Exile. And I think we'll put her in to the first officer slot because I do feel like we need a few more pages uh, than we do, let's see, pages here, than we do Veil since our Veils is pretty high up. And I don't think it'll be terrible to have some backup. I don't think, I hope they won't get restless and do something unfortunate for the ship. Uh, it doesn't seem like our ferret has done anything, but then again, it's a, it is a ferret. I guess we can just depart from here. So what does she, what does she have to say to tell us where to go? She has the discomforting, even irritating habit of answering your questions before you finish speaking. We'd invite her to dine with us, but we don't have the food. And we can either ask her to remove or not ask her to remove her glasses. But it doesn't look like we can do any of that right now since we don't have any supplies. I think we're just going to try to make it back north to uh, all in London here. Maybe we'll swing wide and clear out some of this darkened section because uh, we are very low on food and this island has no shop, it looks like. So let's set out to sea and I will crank it to max speed. I don't think we'll use the full power unless we come into contact with something unfriendly. And I suppose we might as well send out a Z-Bat to see if there are any more islands in the area. Doesn't look like it. And I think that should be far enough out that we'll be able to see anything new out here. That is a bigger circle. Is that just a lantern? Yes, it is. Is that, is that lantern moving, or we, is it just because we're moving past it? I think it's just because we're moving past it. There was the ship in this fog to our left here. But it looks like he's nowhere to be found right now. Water is sluggish with hyphal, hyphal threads. Violent vegetable bulks break the surface. Oh my goodness, that's a big, that is a big fish, or a big crab. My cell, my cell The waves are flecked with light. So that looks like some sort of, I believe, my mycelia G. I believe that's some sort of a, a, a fungus. Uh oh, they've got another challenge. I'll try it again. Dang, it, it looks like our higher higher pages was enough to get them to be unafraid, and now they're all nervous. I don't know what the threshold for being nervous and um, setting for a mutiny is. I hope it's not too low. Looks like we got a boat to our west here, but I hope it isn't too low that they we're reaching it. What is, what is this? Wreck of the Miko. Um, I suppose we might as well go to it. We're low on food and we're very low. We're, we're completely out of food, actually. And we're low on fuel. 
Can we dock with it here? Battle. No, it doesn't look like it. Let's check the map. Oh, here we go. The lookout shouts far above the false stars in the cavern roof are shifting, a rare and ominous event. Record the change and assign a name. If the new shape seems well-omened, your crew may be cheered. And that's just a matter of luck, which we've got a 50-50 chance. And forbid them to look. Can't really stop them, but you can at least discourage discussion. Let's go for a check. The new shape seem well, seems well-omened. Your crew may be cheered. The bat is lucky. A, tooth, a gap tooth stoker avers. All agree. Leathery, but lucky. Okay, and we've reduced our terror there. Dang, I was hoping we'd be able to steal fuel or some sort of supplies off of that Miko. Because um, we are far out to sea. And we do not have any sort of fuel or supplies. We can't, we can't even burn supplies. Baked breeze rises the improbable scent of stone out of some distant desert. You're close to the salt lions. Uh, well, I don't see anything. Let's send a bat out. Salt lines is some distance to your northeast. Do we want to head that way? I think so. It's a little distant, but we won't be able to buy fuel at Giannotti Harbor. A soft wind from the east, the impossible scent of pine. Whoa, what is this? Discovered the salt lines, 50 fragments gained. Oh man, we are cutting it real close. Can we enter here? Secrets to improve your abilities, okay. Seal port. Oh, thank god. Are we gonna make it? Oh no. Uh, lights off, lights off, lights off. We're so close to port. Oh, come on. We're out of fuel. How do we deal with this? Sacrifice to storm, stone, or salt. We didn't bring a flare, so we can't fire a stress flare. Oh, man. Sacrifice the storm. Storm, the god in the roof, angriest of the three. He's likely as likely to crush you as to save you, but you could hardly be worse off after all. He will require a death. Time to draw lots. That'll be concerning. A sacrifice of stone. She's the kindest of the gods of the Z, but that's not saying much, very much. She has a great wound from which a river of blood flows. Wound yourself in memory of her. Perhaps she'll show mercy. Or make a sacrifice to salt. Salt the gods of horizons and farewells. Who knows what he'll do? Whisper a secret into the dark and see. We have an excess of secrets, so we'll go with that. You whisper your prayer into the dark. Something has heard it. You're terribly certain of that. Perhaps this is just Salt's idea of helping, or perhaps you're just very unlucky. And have we just... Did, did Salt make us afraid or did it do something better i know we're hungry guys um shoot i guess we'll make a sacrifice to stone hopefully this won't kill anybody the blood flows thick and red the wound is impossibly hard to staunch your ship's doctor fusses with bandages. The deck is awash. Your vision becomes cloudy at the corners. Through the roaring buzz in your ears, you see the puzzled doctor hold up a diamond splinter. This came from the wound. Oh, and we have two wounds. At three wounds, we'll die. Oh no. Okay. Uh, we've got to. We've got to get head back to London after we make it to this dock here. And we have an outlandish artifact. God, that's terrible. Uh. Let's try another sacrifice to salt. I don't... Oh, look at this. A white Z-Bat. It lands on the rail and cocks its head. It blinks at you, two tiny eyes like chips of crystal. It rises and is lost in the deep night of the earth. Your gaze follows it. When your gaze returns to the ship, you realize the ship is elsewhere. Gasps from your crew tell you you're not imagining it. Perhaps it's not where you want it to be, but that's salt for you. So we're returning to a port. Will it return us to a zeal port? King Eater's Castle? Where is this? 
we have never been here before. So, okay, let's... Oh my goodness. We are so far away here. Uh... We've entered the Sea of Statues. Giants gape at us. King Eater's Castle rises ahead where fools give up their future. We have very few... Oh, man. An old veracity lives here in the far reaches of the Z. The priests are long gone, but sacrifices are still made. Perhaps you have come here to make a sacrifice. Perhaps the sacrifice is you. We could kill some sailors. We've got an excess of them, technically. Oh, Rage Quit, you're back. I'm sorry, I, I haven't even noticed you. I've been, I've been very concerned by this. Spam Z, there's no downside. 100 Terror is the threshold. It's okay, these things happen a lot. Yeah, I, I had a sort of feeling about that. We are way out in the boonies here. We are so far away from Fallen London. Uh, we are out of food, out of fuel, and we are in an unknown location. Though you know, I believe we had to come here for something. Hold on a second. We don't have anything to sacrifice, so I don't think we'll be able to get it now, but... Fathom King's Hold? King Eager's Castle, no. I don't think... I think I was mistaking Fathom King's Hold here. Gather the report, report here and read all the options carefully. Yeah. So... Let me double check my notes for what we've got here. I can't seem to find anything regarding the King Eater's Castle. Maybe that was something to do with our venturer scheme, but I, I don't think so. I suppose while we're... Hmm. While we're here... Might as well just start off by collecting that port report. If we somehow manage to get back, then it'll work out. Silence, desolation, and a sense of impending and terrible mistake. Everything is horrible. It's not really an appropriate title for a formal report, is it? Let's find something a little more clinical. Uh, yeah, I agree, Captain. That is definitely our situation, but I don't think the Admiralty is going to be very interested in that so it looks like all of our options are locked off except for this last one here we can sacrifice three zailers which will decrease our wounds by one we've got two an act of burning faith which god holds sway here Stone, storm stone or salt perhaps no god that is elsewhere named but if you feed it it will calm your mind this will expend your fuel and supplies to lower your terror. Uh, that's that's not really our, well. It's it's a bit of a problem, but it's it's uh, not our primary problem right here. Lose your mind. Offer your thoughts at the altar. Do not do this. Uh, yeah, it seems like we can't do that anyway. Eat your crew. Not all of them will go easily. Do not do this. This will destroy all your crew and any human or near human officers. The struggle will wound or even kill you. And you'd need, I'd, I'd need a lot more iron than I currently have to do that. Offer your stories, all of them. What is one more departure among so many? This may take you elsewhere at the cost of all your Z stories. Choose it only if you are desperate to be somewhere else. And that gives us a 50-50 chance. How many Z stories do we currently have? Two. I've not... I don't remember anything particularly useful that we've done with these. I'm sure we've traded them for something small. Um, but we kind of don't have any other options here. Uh, options here. I believe salt was the one that brought us here if we were to need to sacrifice that. But at the moment, we're just going to have to offer, off, offer up our Z stories. The rising of the lights. With a grating shriek, the walls of blackened stone rise around you. Already they blot out the false star's light. 
No, the water is receding. Phosphorescent cliff clingers gop at the, as the Z sinks. Z sinks. There we go. Monster bones rise from the murk. The, t the ship tilts violently sideways with a sound like a reef's jaw closing. The Z, the Z. It rises black-fisted and falls on you with all its weight. You cling desperately to the helm. The waters drain away. Sailors lie coughing or flopping like fish. Zeeweed drapes the railings around the ship. The lights of Wolfstack docks. Hey, we're fortunate. We've taken a little bit of damage to the hull. We've lost a crew, but we've returned to a friendly port, I think. Oh, we've made, we've made it all the way back to London. As soon as the gangplank touches the quayside, the terrors of the deep Z lighten. Walk taller, smile more readily. But what dreams may cling? So we've just made a very lucky return here. Wow. That is amazing. Terror is always reduced to 50 when you return to London if it's higher. Though we may suffer nightmares later. Okay. Well, let's let's con collect our messages here. Something has changed. Uh, someone else wants to sign on. The bruiser has come back. That's all for now. Well, we know where uh, the King Eater's Castle is now, I suppose. It's on the far, far end of the map here. It is ages away. But if we ever need to get anything from it, we've got the option. So let's talk to... Let's see, I believe we had... The bruiser here tends to business on the dock. I think first, before we talk to him, we will rest in the wound or uh, rest in our room uh, to heal that wound that we picked up. Because we are at two and at three we die. And I think we'll need a restful night after after what just occurred to us there. We got so close to the salt lions this time. This time we do know where they are, at least. Uh, so we'll have a new island to check on. Consider retirement from the seafaring life. Honestly, if I if if the captain were me, I would definitely be considering that. But I don't exactly have a uh, a townhouse or a seaside mansion to lay back on. Let's just rest here first. We've lost ten echo. We've got we've only got one. We've got one wound now, and we have a restful night. And we've lost our menace here. The rats keep you awake of nights with their mutterings and skirmishings, but the bed is warm and the door has a lock. Okay, so let's first talk to the Admiral here. We've got our port reports here. And give the Iron Republic. I no, I didn't expect that to happen. Well, perhaps it's for the best. Some reports should not be reported. No, no, don't concern yourself. This is my third best suit, and the Admiralty offers a modest allowance for document-related damage. Perhaps it's best if you leave now. Oh, okay, so we actually got a report this time. Um, we got some fuel from that, too. Uh, we gained a little terror there. But uh, I believe the last time we submitted a report from the Iron Republic, we just had a uh we, we we only received a page that just didn't have anything on it uh though this time we talked a little close more closely to the locals there so i suppose maybe we broke past that uh past that barrier that we had we can talk to the about the grand geode the grand yes yes of course we're quite you're generally quite well informed on that topic, but since you're here, perhaps you may as well let us know what your impressions were. My impressions were that they are definitely under the influence of something. The Admiralty official takes notes scrupulously, but with an expression of mild terror, like a novice vivisector wincing with a scalpel. The rest of the office studiously busy themselves with other tasks. Okay, so there's definitely something going on uh, over at that geode. Something about, I think, the geos themselves, or maybe we just got drugged, but something definitely was an issue there. 
King Eater's Castle at Asper's Fastness. Wow, really? You, you got a report from across the ocean here. You've got nothing to say here other than despair concerning. And Quaker's Haven. I'm trying the original rubbery lumps. So we picked up a few echoes. We've got six favors. So maybe we've maxed out there. And we've got four fuel, luckily. Um, let's talk to the Admiral here, because I believe we've got moves of a great game here. We don't really have a spy network, and I don't know if we can trade these for anything else right now. We're sort of low on echoes, as is, so I think we're going to be selling these out. And these, these aren't the strategic informations that we picked up earlier, so this is something separate. He has you repeat it twice. He doesn't take notes. It's a little beyond me, he tells you, but I have a friend in the palace who will be interested. Very interested. Thank you. Your fee. And that'll give us 30 echoes. So we're back up to what I'd consider a, a fair amount here. So we could head to Dry Dock to fix up our ship. I believe we can actually repair our ship, but I'm pretty sure that requires supplies. So maybe doing um, some repairs here will have us be a little better off. No more than 74, we've got 50. That requires some supplies for the Radis Faber engineers. Never use the repair key to repair your ship, it's a trap, and I don't know why it's even there. Okay, so that seems like a bad option. Uh, we are still at 50, so we're still above half, and we've, we've essentially got uh, two-thirds of our health still around. I Hopefully we will just be able to float by things and kind of sneak by like we've been doing uh, since we've got a relatively high veils in comparison to all of our other options here. Uh, let's see if we can use some of the Admiralty's favor that we picked up. Success, eventually. Uh, the good, free fuel. The bad, a half-hour argument with the quartermaster who insists that your chitties have not been stamped by the Office of Incongruous Requests. Eventually, she grudgingly permits you to load your fuel cart. We've gained two fuel, but we lost some favors. I think we'll try to trade out these favors here. Um, for fuel. I just don't want to spend anything on fuel because I believe the supplies will we'll only be able to get three supplies with what we've got here. Uh... Actually, that is assuming that we don't, we aren't able to sell dark drop coffee beans. We bought them for thirty-eight. Let's check. Let's check the economics chart that we've ripped, uh, that we've written down here. Yeah, we bought them for thirty-eight. We can sell them for forty-four. So we are making a bit of a profit. Excellent. So I think we will sell that here. A crate of human souls? Oh my goodness. Okay. That is interesting. Uh, bolts of spider silk. We need 21 of these, I believe, for our friend uh, on the dock. He will give us 1,500 echoes for that. You can repair the ship at Dry Dock in London. That's fine. Just don't repair it with a repair key. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll make sure not to do that at sea unless situations are real dire. So yeah, I think we'll definitely sell these coffee beans here. We won't sell the uh, spider silk. That's the kicker. If the situations are dire, you can't even use it. Oh, oh, right, because you can't use it at below, let's see. Yeah, below 50% or better. <laughs> That's, what a, what a strange option to have. <laughs> Buy a cask of mushroom wine for 21. I believe there was actually a location here that we could sell those casks at. Uh, Vendor Bite. Uh, they only sell for 23, though, so we're only making two echoes of profit there um, for not a whole lot. Freaking of prisoners, honey. We could sell the Zoops. And yeah, we did end up selling. We didn't end up selling that Zoop that we had for seven Echoes more than what we could have sold it here.
Oh man, you can just you can buy just everything around here. Uh, we could sell the gun back. Oh, we can get an assistant. Are these? These are more weapons. Okay. Oh, and these assistants. So we're actually buying a rat here. This was an, another weapon. Uh, and this is just like a quick repair during combat. That, that's a little heartless. Dang. Uh, I don't, it seems like the Radis Fabers are, uh, actually sentient considering we can go to the dockyards here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the docks, dry docks here and get them repair to repair our ship. It seems like they're definitely second-class citizens in fallen London, though. But luckily... Up 25 Echoes. Oh, we could actually fully repair our ship now that we've got some more Echoes to work with. Um, let's see what we've got. We've got six fuel. I think it's worth investing in the Flare, considering we were out of luck the last time our ship ran out of completely out of fuel as well as supplies and the foxfire candles we've all made mistakes if only those mistakes could be left in the dark those seem like they have something to do with maybe terror or maybe this is this is something to obfuscate us to to sort of let us sneak away here maybe we send these on uh, like a platform out to sea and sail in an opposite direction. I could see that happening. You know, since since we're marking down the sea economy, I think it's a good idea to list down, if not everything here, because a lot of them are purchasable weapons and whatnot. Uh, definitely the uh, more common stuff, such as fuel and supplies and stuff, and then the sell-only options here. Uh, though advice for captains, I, I have a feeling we'll only be able to sell once since we got that at the start of this. So we've got Saul's Fruit selling for 50. Uh, fuel is here for 10 and 2, respectively. It's nice that we can actually sell fuel for some money. Uh, a flare is here for 10 echoes. I've never seen a flare at sea yet. Uh, or at any of the islands that we've stopped at out at sea. Uh, so that just getting one, I think, will tide us over here um, just in case of a situation that we just ended up in that we barely escaped from due to our luck. Uh, supplies are nice and cheap at, well, relatively cheap at 20 Echoes. Um, they sell for five, so that is... Not great, but it is definitely something. And then whatever these Foxfire candles are. They buy for 40. So those are really expensive. And they only sell for 20. It looks like this is where we'll sell all of our uh, nicer items here. Uh, it looks like these are just goods that we can get. Oh boy, this is going to be quite the list we're going to jot down here. So we've got Scintillic, which looks like some sort of diamond, which sells for 70 echoes. We've got Devil Bone Dice, which sells for 20. Mutter Salt, which may be 
we pick up at the salt lines, judging by their name. Uh, so maybe that'll be a good trade route to hit since if we head to the south, since that sells for 50 echoes, depending on what price we get it at while we're down there. The zoop is what we're slowly saving up for, uh, which sells for 70 echoes. Um, hopefully we won't need to sell that to get too many items so we can get to the seven that we need for the thousand echoes from our, our merchant friend. Again, the solace fruit for 50 sapphires, the cask of sapphires for 50, no, for 90. So that'll be a worthwhile profit if we can find those on the cheap. I think you should dump the zoop. I was considering it, but uh, it, it we purchased it for 50-ish. I haven't, I haven't gotten it written down. And I was hoping it, we could sail back and forth and make some profits and just get to the seven. Um, I suppose if we are selling them at a profit, we're still making a profit here. Uh, and if we make enough of a profit, we can just get all seven all at once. Bought it for 70 at Palmerston. Okay, so yeah, I guess we're not making too much of a profit at either way. And we do sort of need the cash here. Hmm. I want to see if something the salt lines sell, if they sell this mooter salt for anything cheap. Because salt it, it, salts is definitely something that is useful, but is also pretty common if I'm going just by logic's sake. Uh, so hopefully that'll be something that is just a specialized product of the salt lines. Uh, that we can just sell at a premium here. So maybe that'll be one way to make back the all of the zoop money that we're looking for. Maybe we'll go out, instead of exploring, we'll go out for a, a few and very sure runs of supply trading so we can get some goods back and forth. Let's see if we're picking up here on the economy. Stygian Ivory... Sells for 28. And Stygian Ivory and Devil Bone Dice, I believe, are what we would have traded for our gun over at the, at, at the uh, Iron... Iron Wasteland? Iron somethings. Yeah. Well, wherever wherever we ended up uh, there, I believe it is. Ah, who knows? Uh, iron something's down there. <laughs> uh, so we'll be able to pick up another front-mounted weapon, though I don't believe our ship actually holds a forward weapon. It looks like it's actually blanked out here. So if we wanted to do that, we need to trade up for our ship. I assume that the auxiliary and bridge are still talking about weapons, though. Maybe those are different types of upgrades, because uh, we also have engines here. So maybe the bridge is something that gives us a little more visibility, uh, or maybe a, li a little bit of a wide wider range. And I assume the auxiliary is probably, that's probably just another weapon. But those will be something for later when we discover them. Royal Blue Feather. That sells for one Echo, but I have not, as far as I can remember, encountered a bird down here in the Neath yet. So that's interesting. Most of the bridge stuff is sold in Bultitude's House of Vision. Okay, we definitely haven't come across that yet, so that makes sense. Approved romantic literature. Interesting. Uh, might want to take a look at the left side here. Let's see. Wolfstack exchange. Oh, I see here. Bultitude's House of Vision. So these give 
glass is clear. Yeah, so it looks, uh, yeah, so it does look like uh, the bridge upgrades are for vision. And it looks like they upgrade a few of our stats as well. Uh, so I guess the bridge is the the area our deck lamp, lamp comes out from. Doesn't look like anything's actually present there. So I guess it's maybe just the glass upgrades. Um, though judging by the prices, I don't think we'll be upgrading anything on this current ship anyway. Uh, what engine do we currently have? Elderly steeple engine. So I guess that's the cheapest option that the Iron and Misery Company has. So I wonder if outdated model gets you where you need to go. I wonder if any of these would give us a little more efficiency. Or maybe there's something we could change in terms of how we sail the ship. They actually only upgrade the stats. Okay, okay, I see. So this one will actually just upgrade the stats. And I guess the adequate effective device for seeking enemies that's that's just some uh some flavor text that's nice this will increase the engine power which i assume transfers to speed caminus yards so this will be guns the naval surplus will just be some uh random bits and bobs that we can pick up for a cheap price when this game was in the beta uh, the combat system was apparently completely different. I did hear that. Uh, the, the way that I heard about, heard about this was actually through a uh, quick review from uh, Mandalore Gaming. Uh, and I think he mentioned that they had a card-based system, uh, which is fascinating. I do I do like the system that they ended up with, uh, though I've heard that Sunless Skies is a little more interesting. I think that one's real time. But I, th I, I do enjoy this one as well. Okay. Let's mark down our our <laughs> very extensive list here of uh, random goods that we can trade for potential profit if we find them out at sea. I do feel a bit like an old school accountant, sort of jotting everything down here, but uh, maybe I'm just getting into the, this is what ain't, old timey sea captains would do they just kind of mark down trades though i have a feeling a lot of them were uh, considerably better at bartering than i am uh, since it seems like we have almost no variance in terms of what we can actually sell to port but that's just uh, that's just cost and demand economics you know got the mushroom wine which is the first thing we can actually buy here that buys for 21 and sells for 20. The firkin of prisoner's honey. I don't actually know what a firkin is. I guess that's just a, a fancy name for a barrel, judging by the picture of it. Bought for 25 and sold for 20. Those dark drop coffee beans that we picked up, that's actually a good trade route down towards, I believe, the south. Let's double check here. Yeah, the Iron Republic, we can get those at 38, and we can come back up here and sell them for a profit of six. Here they buy for, wow, they buy for 50. So they are definitely a commodity here. A crate of human souls. I, I dearly hope that that is, uh, maybe, maybe that's a brand name. Human souls is actually a, a, a boots company. But I have a feeling, considering all the devilry going on down in uh, the Iron Republic, that they might actually be 
selling or purchasing human souls over there. Uh, at which point I am concerned as to the mental effects it will have on my crew if I actually carry that. And then spider silk. I might sell the spider silk too because I need 21 for, to complete our businessman's interests. Uh, though I think I'll end up going for the zoop there because uh, that'll be cheaper to get in total than uh, whatever the spider silk ends up costing unless there's a significant difference in how much it costs wherever the spider silk is sold. I believe that is, double check the notes, uh, Savior's Rock, Savior's Rocks. Unless it's sold there at a significant discount from what it's uh, selling for here, and if we can purchase it there, uh, then I have a feeling the seven zoops will probably come out to being cheaper than the 21 spider silks. Sold for 50 echoes. And the last one, a bale of parabola linen. Who plucks the flax from the banks of the rivers that flow through sleep. Interesting. So that sounds like it's something that is sort of a dreamscape uh, item. Maybe that's just... Oh, that's probably referring to the fact that it's a linen, so it's probably used for bed sheets. And it sells for 60 Echoes. So we'll see if we pick up any of this stuff. I think, yeah, everything else here is kind of just uh, ship adjacent. Though it does say, they say we are clay. This trio of clay stokers will reduce crew requirements, but also crew capacity will slightly increase engine power. Are these people? I believe a stoker is something related to the engine. So I guess... How curious. I wonder why they're paying so much for whoever these clay stokers are. These must be uh, automatons, maybe? Some sort of living golem uh, that takes care of the engine, I guess. Interesting. I guess I'll note down the sale price anyway, since we can sell them for a lot, and it doesn't look like we can purchase them here. They sell for quite a bit of echo. I mean, I am snapping pencil lead from this mechanical pencil that I'm using left and right. Uh, the serpentine is probably, yeah, an engine. These are, oh, these are an auxiliary. So I guess, hmm, that's curious. So they're auxiliary, which is, seems to be inclusive of... I was going to say it seems to be inclusive of the weapons, but apparently that is something else. Are any of these auxiliaries? No, these are all engines. Interesting. So I wonder what auxiliaries do. I suppose we'll find that out if and when we find them. So I guess, I guess we won't note down the serpentine either, because it seems like, oh wow, yeah, that seems like that would be a, a really useful engine to have, considering it increases the fuel efficiency by 10. And the engine power is just out of this world. I think that sits right up the top here, yeah, between these last two, uh, well, last three, the second and third to best engines. So I don't think we'd ended up selling that no matter what. Okay, well, we've got we've got the economy for Fallen London listed. I want to see if we can make it back down to the sea lions now that we know where they are. Uh, so if we open up the map here, Fallen London's over here in the salt... Oh, uh, the salt lions, that's the one. Salt lions are just a quick hop away from Mutton's Island. So if we can clear out what's between the salt lions space and Fallen London, assuming they have good deals on salt... We can sell the salt for a fair bit. Uh, I assume the muter salt. We can sell the salt for a, hopefully a good profit. So let's pick up some rations. 
Well, I suppose it's first, let's sell off this zoop, as you were recommending. I think we'll sell off the zoop until we can get all of that. And we'll sell the spider silk. Uh, and hopefully we can just make one trip when we've made a fair bit of money, I believe. Seven times seven, so 490 echoes would be the price to get to purchasing that and then make it back here. So we'll have to have a bit of excess echo before we go for that. For now, we've got five fuel. Let's buy a single flare, just in case. Let's see, we'll get, uh, let's check the distance on this. Uh, maybe six, I'd say six uh, supplies, because those cost a fair amount. Um, and I think we'll call it safe and get seven no we'll get eight supp uh, eight supplies of fuel uh eight eight bits of fuel just in case uh we run into something unexpected or if we lose some uh lose some health on the way there and we will definitely repair our ship that's london and the dry dock and we'll use some of our favor to repair the ship since we've got still got six I swear we used some of them on picking up the fuel. Maybe that was something else. I'm unsure. Uh, regardless, let's pick up a quick repair here. So we've lost 24 Echo. I think it said 25. Uh, I, sp I, I suppose it only wanted to leave us with one. Uh, we lost the favor and then we have gotten our hull completely repaired. Fantastic. So let's head out to uh, the salt lines. Let's try to get there. Uh, actually, let's, let's quickly double check here. Fed the crew, apparently. Interesting. Um, let's quickly check out the scholar because we have an artifact here. Um, let's double ch check these artifacts because I believe I read somewhere that they could be turned into um, heirlooms, but I don't see anything that an heirloom could do. Yeah, if you've made an ironclad will, you can convert a collection of these into an heirloom for your successor. Oh, I see. A collection of them. So we'll probably have to have more than one there. This belongs in a museum. Assuming that colonial imperial appropriation for the purposes of hegemonic taxonomization is a suitable response to the problem of intercultural contact, which it probably is because museums are magnificent, magnificent institutions. I almost got through that without stuttering. There were a couple multisyllabic phrases there. Uh, a, couple, a couple words there. But hey, I think I think selling it to the sort of sketchy museum uh, scholar slash curator potentially is probably the better option right now. We've gained a hundred echoes for it, which is nice. Uh, we are on our way to becoming an antiquarian, an antiquarian rather. Uh, I think that's a good. I think that was a good source of profit, even if we somehow managed to find that object by, I believe, bleeding out on our deck. I believe that washed ashore when we tried that out. But for now, we have got supplies. Uh, we have got our fuel set up. I feel like we had more supplies. Maybe, maybe we, uh, Missed something here. And I suppose we might as well take a day in the rose, the Roser's Wharf. Puppet play, pre press, the puppet plays press on uninterrupted personal collections grow. Words written in fogged mirrors hastily wiped away. Well, it doesn't look like we've done anything. I'm pretty sure we lost, we, we only had one day of shore leave anyway. So that's curious. Uh, and it doesn't look like anything 
is able to be unlocked with what we currently have. I suppose I suppose we could have looked uh, we could have sold our outlandish artifact here. So I guess we should have checked here before we sold it straight to the museum first. Um, looks like a solace fruit is needed here. Yeah, I guess not. Uh, can we look around the docks here? I think that requires, yeah, that requires a day. We could hire on some more crew. Or we could pick up another recruit. I'm locked with another day. Hold up, how many, how many of these another days do we have? I guess I guess we just have the option to pick him up. So let's let's see who's looking here. Skilled doctor who increases hearts and iron. Though the one that we have already increases hearts and iron, and I'd say that's a fair amount here. Uh, we could get another Zailer for five echo. What desperate desire has led this one to sign on? Who cares? They're keen, and consequently, they're cheap. We lost a sailor, but I feel like we're a, a fair number right now. I don't want to overgrow our crew too much considering how quickly we go through food. I think... Need a real physician, none of your surgeons. My goodness, he is quite the pompous fellow, isn't he? Uh, but I kind of like Clatterier. Uh, she may not be the most trustworthy of uh, doctors. I have a feeling if you came in with a, a cut on your hand, she would suggest to get your whole hand amputated, uh, all things considered. But I, I do enjoy the boost that she gives to us. And we have met her father, and we have not yet told her, told her about that encounter. So I think we'll keep her on for now, and uh, we will set off to go visit the Salt Lions. Actually, one thing that I wanted to talk to. Uh, we've still got a rest here. Where can we talk to our... Um, sort of... Yeah, the bruiser. Tends to business on the dock. So maybe we've got to save up our free evenings for the dock so we can talk to that bruiser again. Uh, especially since it seems like we have a 100% chance of running into something. A child in London. Uh, oh, and we've, we've um, forgotten about our, our lady love ashore. The likely last. The, the possible spy who's very bad at being a discreet one. Uh, but it seems like we don't have anything to spend such that we can find them. So I think we should look around before going immediately to sail, except for the possibility of a port report. And who knows, maybe we could have actually sold that um, spy knowledge that we'd, the uh, the movements of the great game. Maybe we could have talked to her about that and picked up a little bit more uh, about it. But for now, out to sea with us. See if we head out past, yeah, out past that um, light ship, then we will head over, sort of in the direction of the salt lions. We've got our economy down in London, all noted. We can stop by because we've got a few memories from. Oops, no, no not that one. We have got a few uh, memories of distant shores. Beneath bow. Oh, and that's the colors. Hello, my friendly lightship. What do you have to say to us? Any news from the area immediately outside of Fallen London? Let's talk to him. We've lost some terror, which is good. We are a little high. We've got an extra Z story. And we've lost the recent news. Okay, that's that's okay. In the bleaching glare of the lens among the smells of the oil and metal, you sip tea and chat. The Z's terror recedes. All right. 
Well, let's continue heading down here past Rowena's Rocks. Uh, and we, it looks like we've already explored, explored this area that we're passing through. Um, we've got a distant route. Here, the slate black sea is like rippled glass spiked with light from the roof. We've just reached the deep ocean which I've heard is rather uh, terrifying. So I'm, especially if you were in a gigantic cave a mile below the surface. We'll dock the officers back into my portrait. We don't need to know our chain of command just now. Okay, I think Assuming what I saw was the edge of where the salt lines were, uh, and I think we should be coming up on them soon. Some sort of beetle. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, I do not want to fight with them. Let's just be nice and sneaky here. Baked breeze rises the improbable scent of stone out of some distant desert close to the salt lines. Some sort of beetle has invaded your morsel of ship's biscuit. It waggles its antenna impertinently. Uh, did it consume our supplies? Doesn't look like it. Okay. We'll reopen our lights on here. Uh-oh. Whoa, no, 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 no. We're not here. Do not worry about us. I will dock before dealing with you, my friend. Or I'd rather dock than deal with you, I, I suppose I'd say. Oh my goodness, no, we've, he's just going for us. Okay, uh, let's see if we can lose him here. Uh, full power. We'll loop around here, and perhaps he will have lost us on the other side there. I'm gaining terror a little more quickly. But, oh shoot, he's keyed up right next to that port. Uh, you know what, let's, let's slow down. Oh, nope, he's coming out here. Has he found us again? Not quite. We cut the corner here. Ah, oh, shoot. There he goes again. Uh, I don't want to fight him, but I guess... No, I, he's got way too much health for me to take care of him here. Uh, I think I've just got to go for it. There he goes. Okay. He's sort of bumped against the island. But I don't think we even need to... Oh, the jelly floor is on us now. No, no, no. Come on, just let us in the dock. We have no quarrel with you, Jilly Fleur. There we go, we've made it. The salt lines, there's a vast sorrow in their empty eyes. Oh, okay. So, I assume, let's see, two basalt beasts cathedral sized. They frown eternally at each other across the black waves. The north one carries an encampment. Creeping human figures eat away at its features like rot, pick, pick, picking. There's a supply dock below. Interesting. Okay, so there's actually a, a sphinx. Let's uh let's get a port report, I suppose, while we're here. Time basalt disillusion. Record the activities of the unmakers such as they are. Rite of stone and silence. So what are these unmakers? Muscular pick wielders rest on camp. Rest on camp stools, watching you approach, passing his hip flasks around. An unctuous overseer beckons you to sit. Uh, sure. Why not? We get funding from the bazaar, it's true, but Station 4, I wouldn't call us Station 4, it's a little grandiose. The stones are stuffed with secrets, but most of them are used as garden statuary or occult ballast. Most of them. Some, of the some go down to the places under the bazaar, more tea cakes. Well, we've got uh, some fragments. Uh, we've lost some terror. I guess that means the stations are tied to the bazaar then, instead of the Admiralty. I, I was under the assumption that the stations were something that the Admiralty kind of had out in the ocean here, um, but it's uh, 
it looks like it's actually something that the market takes care of. Carry Sphinx Stone to London. The Unmakers are here to reduce Salt Line's rubble one block at a time. Help them in their work by carrying the rubble back to London. You'll need a deposit and 20 units of spare cargo space. Well, we've got 200 Echoes to do it, but I don't know if we want to spend it on that. Let's see, how much cargo space do we have? Uh, 11 out of 40. So that would take up a bit of that. I suppose we could just turn around. Uh, we didn't... We, we've used up a lot of fuel trying to escape from that boat up here. Um, so maybe it is a good idea to just return to London. We'll see how much we can make off of this too. Uh, and maybe with the deposit, we'll be able to get some more Sphinx Stone uh, and sell it for something. Um, let's see. Let me double check our notebook of the ocean markets. It doesn't look like Sphinx Stone was mentioned at all when we were in London, so maybe we've unlocked something a little secret here. The Unmakers are here to reduce the salt lines to rubble one block at a time. Help them in their work by carrying the rubble back to London. If the stones weep and Unmaker advises you, ignore them. Unless they flood your hold, of course, then you should probably drop them overboard. Don't tell anyone I said that. That's concerning. Um, well, considering the possibility that our hold could be flooded by what I thought were just rocks, I think we'll head straight back to Fallen London on the quick. Um, oh, and there's a big crab down there. Man, there are a lot of unfriendly things in this area. Though I have started leaving the, uh, the most local area that's right outside of London here, so maybe it's to be expected. Our ship seems to have buggered off up in the northeast somewhere, hopefully. Um, maybe he took on that jelly fleur that was trying to chase us back into the port. But it looks for now like the sea is unperturbed. I didn't have anything written down for the Cumaean um, Canal market, which I believe was because they didn't have anything for sale or purchase. Um, where are we now? Right next to Quaker's Haven, which also didn't have anything for sale or purchase here. Home waters, sailors dawdle at the rail, watching for signs of London. Uh-oh. Looks like he sees us here. Let's just back up slowly and hope. There we go. We get that second shot off so we can take care of him. Let's go see what he had for us. Probably more supplies, or at least just clearing our... Uh, oh, actually, we can dissect it for some knowledge. And we've got a pretty high chance of it. Crab full of conundrums. You set to work with your knives and acids. It's an undistinguished adolescent specimen, a megalops of one of the deep Z crab species, but its eyes abnormally vestigial in these troglodytic beasts are large and rather beautiful. The golden glow is almost gone, though sparks leap now and then to your knife. And we gained some fragments. I th we had a lot of fragments before. I believe we lost them because uh, we got trapped over on the uh, distant island after getting rescued by salt. So now we're kind of working our way back up, but that's okay. Uh, we kind of get them from various encounters with beasts here and there and uh, just uh, stumbling upon sort of forms and shapes in the water, especially new locations. So let's see what this uh, these lions give us here. These, uh, let's see, what, what was it we picked up here? the Sphinx Stone. We didn't see anything about them in the bazaar before, but now let's go check if they've got something interesting for us. Something has changed beneath. I tend to business on the dock. And we've got another free evening, so we can actually visit him. 
and the rose market still hasn't changed. So let's see. London Sphinx Stone. There we go. Special constables, black uniforms, distinctive caps with badge of Ministry of Public Decency, wait with a cart. Okay. So we, um, I guess they are tied to the bazaar? Such wealth, you've earned enough echoes to buy better equipment for your ship. Click on the shops tab. Okay. So we spent 200 and we made 500 back. Wow, that's great. Sign, sign, sign. Here's a receipt. Here's a discretion contract. Here's a penalty contract. Your vision is blurred by the end of it. The cart rumbles off into the coiling fog. Here's your reward. 500 echoes. No more Sphinx Stone and a bit of terror removed. Okay. Wow. That's So if, if that's a, a short, that's a pretty short travel for a lot. I wonder if we'll have to make a deposit again if we'd want to go and do that as a, as a quick exchange here. Because, let's see, we needed 490 Echoes, which I guess we now have, uh, if we wanted to go up to uh, Mount, Mount who's, what's the name? Mount Palmerston, that's the one. Uh, and pick up the, uh, z the skins of... Zoop. We could purchase Zoop here because... Oh, no, we can't, actually. We can't purchase Zoop here. Uh, it just sells for exactly what we bought it for in the other location. So maybe we'll head up there. But first, let's go, cho uh, let's go talk to our fellow here. Oh, no. It doesn't look like that. Uh, sea shanties, fine food, and a warmth of a pub fire, something more. We've lost some terror, which is good. We've lost a few echoes, but we've got some to spare. We've got a bit of recent news. And we found our likely lass again. Don't think I came down to the docks to, to see you. I've got business here, but all right, it did cross my mind that you might drop by. Well, it's a good idea to, uh, to visit our dockside lass. A few hours together. Shared warmth, new memories. It's harder to say goodbye this time. And that reduced quite a few, quite, quite a bit of terror. Something new has occurred. Interesting. Uh, we've still got a fair crew. Our ship is mostly healed up here. I don't think we need to um, repair it there. We could get the same campaigner. Uh, and we could get that same sailor. So it doesn't look like anything's changed there. Let's see, we've got a Z story for our, our creepy scholar. We've got a few memories of distant shores, but I think we could trade those for a few things. We've only got three. So we'll leave her to her business. Nothing here has changed, and we haven't picked out any artifacts or solace fruit either. Uh, so this time I think we'll head up to... Um, Shoot, do I want to head up to Mount Palmerston? No, I think I'll head back down to the salt lines. We'll see if we can just get the uh, Sphinx Stone from them without having a, a deposit again. Uh, we'll pick up a few. Uh, we'll, first off, we'll deposit our port reports uh, about the salt lines there. Uh, and that'll give us some fuel. And we'll need to pick up some more supplies as well. Excellent. And I assume that he still needs something regarding the report, 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 blah, blah, blah. Okay. So it doesn't, it doesn't look like he's got anything new to ask us about. We still got to visit, um, let's see, S Depot Station 3. We found five, and we've sort of found a pseudo four, but maybe the depot stations are a separate designation. Um, yes. So I think we'll just purchase some more fuel. Uh, we'll get to 
six again since it's sort of a known qua uh, quantity. Uh, and we'll get some more supplies as well. Uh, enough to leave us with a good journey. We'll make it back home. So we're, we're operating sort of on the edge of this, but I don't expect too much trouble to come by since the salt lines are so close. And that'll leave us with enough to buy the Zoop all the way from Mount Palmerston if even if we don't make any profit from this next trip, which I'm assuming that we will be. So we'll just do a, a road trip down over there. We'll, we'll embrace the merchant life, the sea merchant life. Hmm. The engine is a bit slow. So maybe, we, if, assuming we make that thousand that was promised us from the, the venturer, Maybe we upgrade the engine. I think that would be nice. Oh, an unexpected letter. Who sent it and what does it say? Your sweetheart returned to London as soon as you may. Your sweetheart says you were a father. Choose this option if you sired the child. I have a, a surprise for you on your next return to London. I have taken in a foundling. Choose this option if you're unlikely to be either a father or mother. You, when I next return to London, I will bring an additional recruit your child. Interesting. Uh. I guess I've got a child now. A new life. Go quickly. You have a child. Return to London to look after them, and they may become a scion, allowing you to take two legacies. Interesting. Well, it seems our urchin is moving up in the world. He has uh, made a child with a possible spy, a very poor spy, but a child nonetheless. So he now has a legacy, a living legacy to take care of. And wow, was that letter fast. We were scarcely out of port. That child was born in a, in a quick, like, three hours. Or maybe, maybe he just didn't notice. Maybe at, whilst at sea, uh, from the last time that they uh, were together, the child was just there, and he didn't notice somehow upon re-meeting her at the docks. head out this way. We'll keep an eye out down here for if we run into either a gigantic crab or that uh, rather angry ship we found the last time. It doesn't look like it. We've got the breeze out for the sea lines. That light must be the ship on the other side of the, uh, of the salt lines, rather. Yep, there he is. And you are over there. Just in case you can somehow see me across the island, I will turn off the light. Oh, and the, the, the stars on the roof are shifting again. Pigs, one sailor size. One sailor size, rather. It's always pigs. What's wrong with pigs? The bosun shakes a solemn head. Never ask about pigs at Z, he insists. <laughs> okay, I gained one terror, but I, I find the uh, the flavor text for that pretty funny. <laughs> okay, and we've made it back to the Salt Lines port. And it looks, it looks like that's an inlet down there, so I wonder if there's something on the other side of that. For now... Uh, we can just fix this here. Oh, there's more here, though. We'll compile that port report. Salt's rights. The face of the Northern Sphinx is all but gone. Lost faces are sacred to salt, they say. You are drawn there, but to what end? Salt's voice is distant but clear. Unlocked when gods of the Z defiant is... I'm not defiant. That is correct. Um... Do I want to be defiant? Salt sort of saved us. Is defiance a good thing? I kind of, I kind of just want to go and let's go chat with the unmakers first. Let's go do that. We'll lose some terror. We'll gain a fragment. That's okay. And that is just talking about station four again. 
Oh, I see. We've lost the option. Okay. Maybe maybe that's for the best, um, considering uh, defiance in, against the uh, the god of the sea that definitely saved us from dying a slow, terrible death there is uh, maybe defying them is not the best idea, especially considering they put us distantly, very distantly on the other side of the map out here uh, and also got us back. So let's let's uh, just pick up some more of our Sphinx Stone. I guess it'll still cost the Echo. That's okay. Um, can we grab more? How much? How much hold space do we have? Twenty nine of forty, and we need twenty. So yeah, we're gonna be uh, a wee bit short of having two per trip here. So we'll just grab the one, and we'll head back to London to make our tidy fortune, our our tidy but small fortune of uh. 500 echoes. A quick reminder about something awaits you. Don't forget how that works. Right, yeah, the uh, the symbol needs to pop up here, and it'll take a quick second. Um, as far as I know, it just it requires a bit more time out at sea. Um, I think that'll end up happening. Right now, I'm kind of just doing some rote runs back and forth uh, to the to the salt lines here. Yes, but more specifically. That's why the option for salts right has disappeared. Oh, I see. Okay, so we can only do that as the first option when we get back. I see. Okay. Well, that is good to know. Thank you for reminding me about that. Um, so next time we end up there, we'll see... Uh, many story events will consume something awaits you. Gotcha. So we'll have to make sure to select our first option when we get back a little more carefully. Either have one something awaits you or zero. Okay, interesting. Yeah, so I guess we'll have to uh, choose our um, possibilities a little more carefully because uh, I have sort of been going through with the assumption that we'd be able to interact with any story bits, assuming that we had them pop up, but I guess that's not the case. I, I, I guess I misread or misunderstood that. And it looks like we've got something awaits you anyway. I'll have to double check every cost now, because I've kind of been, as long as I've had the option for it, uh, I, I've been clicking through them. But since that is such a limited resource, we will have to prevent that. All right, we've made it home. Her enduring majesty's custom service works closely with both the Ministry of Public Decency and the Masters of the Bazaar. Today they have inspected, selected you for an inspectum. Don't cheek them. So reduce your suspicion. I don't... Yeah, I don't have anything... Um, how dare you stream instead of play Valor with us? Hey, you know, this is a fun game. I enjoy streaming it. Um, I don't have anything illegal, as far as I know. Yeah, I don't have Mirror Catch, Brilliant Souls, Human Souls, or Romantic Literature. Pay the customs duty on any untaxed souls or romantic literature. Talk your way out. Or uh, attempt to lie to them. Well, I don't have anything to hide, so please look through. Suspicion hasn't changed because it's lower than five. They roam your deck like wolves. They tear through your belongings like termites. At last, they leave. Okay. Does this cost... Nope, we're good. Let's talk to the harbor master. Something has changed in the neath. Blind bruiser wants to attend to business on the dock. We've got a free evening, and nothing in the rose market has changed. So, um, new arrival. Oh, that's right. Let's talk to our, our possible child. You, your sweetheart, and your child. What will your child call you? Nothing at all. You don't want to raise the child, or you can't afford to. Turn away. Let your sweetheart raise the brat if they can. 
Um, shoot. Uh, I guess I've got to... You know what? We'll talk to you later. We don't exactly have a mansion right now. Uh, we never saw you, kid. You know? You are... You're just there. Let's go deliver this Sphinx Stone first. And... It doesn't consume anything, so we'll just sign that over. Pick up our Echoes. Lose a bit of Terror. Sweet. So let's see here. How... How do we talk to our bruiser friend here? He said it was at the docks. Maybe that's here. You see the child? Uh, visit the study. Hmm. We could just rest in that room to heal our last little wound. But where is our friend at the docks? Maybe at the dry dock? That's just repairs, it looks like. Shoot, how do, I I do want to talk to you. Lawn Bruiser attends to business on the docks. Maybe it's the fact that we don't have any um any progress in his storyline. Yeah, because I can't seem to see him on the side here. Still got our venturer's desires here. And that'll make us a tidy profit. Or maybe maybe not better than what we're making off of uh, our trips back and forth from the the salt lines. Let's see. For a trip to the salt line, we spend two hundred echoes and make five hundred, so that's a profit of three hundred. For this, we would spend forty nine four hundred and ninety echoes and make a thousand. So I guess I guess that's a better. It's almost a double in profits. So I guess we do want to do that one instead. It's a shame. I'd I'd like to improve my situation. I suppose let's let's talk to the child. Hmm. Okay, so I can It seems I can only talk to him such that I I purchase a better home. Can I purchase a better home from here? Purchase an ele elegant townhouse. And that costs a thousand echoes. So after this um, trip out to Mount Palmerston, I'll actually be able to do that. I'll actually be able to take care of the kid. Uh, and I suppose I'd be able to also retire. Uh, I can safely scrutinize him without choosing one. Okay, so I could actually retire in, if that were the case. Maybe I will end up doing that. Uh, I'll end up heading out to Mount Palmerston and then I will uh, get the Zoops up there, bring it back down. I'll buy the townhouse for a thousand echoes. Uh, and I'll check out the ending options. I don't really want to end this character quite away. We've explored very little of the ocean so far. But maybe that would be in character for him. He has a, he has a child now. He's got, he's got to take care of something. Um, and who knows? I think I think since we can have a legacy here, uh, maybe the child we can play as the child and we can set off to explore the seas uh, as, as his lineage. But before we do any of that, we will have to go and buy some more fuel. Uh, let's see if we can find the docks here. 
how much favor do we have? We have four. And it's unlocked with four. Um, I think it only costs one. Let's see here. Where is our admiral friend? Here he is. Uh, give the port reports from the salt lines again, since that's the only location we went to. And that'll give us some free fuel. Okay, and it looks like he doesn't. We don't have anything else for him, uh, and it didn't actually give us any more favor. So maybe since we're already doing well off on money, we'll just buy our fuel the good old-fashioned way, uh, as well as our supplies. Let's see. To get to Mount Palmerston, we'll need a fair bit of fuel, and we'll need quite a few supplies as well. Let's pick up, say... Eight, one supply for each crew member. Um, we don't have anything to sell, but we can make it up to Mount Palmerston and pick up those uh, Zoops. Yes, the Zoops. I think eight supplies and eight fuel barrels should be enough to get us up there. We can stop up in Vander Vanderbite to see if our stowaway that we made up there, uh, we, we somehow transport up, transported up there, is doing anything interesting. Because he has sort of just been... Uh, we, ha we haven't found anything really uh, that has affected us from that interaction yet. Keep. Oh, and we could actually we could catch up with the ladies here too, uh, since that's not exactly out of the way either. Let's go do that too. Maybe we'll give them news of our child uh, that they may be upset with that, depending on how they saw our relationship to each other. Let's just dock here. The sisters are missing. News, news. Even when the sisters aren't feeling sociable. We've got recent news. And we don't have anything awaiting us yet. Well, we'll pick up a port report. Let's see if they can be tempted by news. We ask a sulfur-eyed maid to carry a few hints of the news to the sisters. Oddly enough, she comes back with a message that their headaches are cured and you're invited to lunch. Okay. Well, let's talk to the sisters. I have a feeling that the sisters are um, tied to the gods of the realm. The gods slash goddesses. Uh, because Cynthia, I believe, is... Let's see. Is that Storm? She's, she's very much... Um, there it is. So there is Storm, which is the angriest of ones. I believe that was the the sacrifice god. Uh, Stone was the sort of middle ground, the friendliest, uh, but who required blood sacrifice. And Salt just wanted attention. Um, she, she she just wanted our she or he wanted our stories. And so I think that kind of lines up here with Cynthia being sort of dramatic and with uh, withheld here. Lucy is friendly um, and kind of crazy. And then Phoebe is unpredictable. So that's sort of like Salt. And I've sort of been appreciating Salt a little more considering Salt is the one that got us out and required very little for that. So let's talk to Phoebe. Phoebe has a story to tell of two lovers parted by water of a raven that carried messages of a fragment of the moon. She beats time on the table as she speaks as if to a song she, only she can hear. The effect is hypnotic. 
Your attention drifts out through the skylight of the dining room to the false stars glittering in the roof of the cavern. You drift like a puffball spore. The Untersee shimmers below. Islands lie like mineral specimens on black velvet. Ships bob like wood chips between the islands. Vast spined things pulse in the depths. There is a scent like the scent before a storm. The storm came, says Phoebe quietly. Everything changed. Somewhere in there you finished the last course. The scowling maid reluctantly serves cheese and bath Oliver biscuits. Got a memory of distant shores. You're acquainted with the sisters, but something has changed. Okay. Um. Oh no, so Phoebe is Storm. Interesting. What is what has changed here? So I guess I've I guess I've been misunderstanding who is who here. Do I want to go gallivanting around the island? No, this is this is a safe this is a safe excursion, I think. We're trying just to get out to where we can make our profits so that we can take care of our child. This was just a docking on that path uh, to, to making that happen. Oh, we've got the Z-Bats over there. Dust echoes, even a sepia tone. Uh-oh. Stay back. Stay back, you swarm. There we go. I suppose we should have known that our bat that we sent out uh, was not um, not going to find anything, considering how well we've investigated this area. Uh, let's just disco dispose of the corpses, considering we've got a lot of terror and we've got a lot of supplies. Their eyes are still fierce in death. Zailers sweep them overboard with brooms, careful not to touch them. It will sound the all clear. Let's see. We are far off from Vanderbite. A distant crab is out there, a luminous crab. There we go, Carissa's point. I believe this is where the arch is to get to Vanderbite. An electric shiver to the air. Storm is watching, the sailors would say. Okay then, um, a little concerning. Oh, and there's there's some fog out here. So these areas look very much unlike Fallen London, which, and they, they sort of look like the uh, island that we got teleported to that we, that we when we talked to Salt. So I wonder if these are connected. I suppose this is sort of the Isle of the Dead. Um get reduce some terror here a dusty glass of wine fender bite is not the most promising place for shore leave too much decay too little light too many bandaged walking corpses few companions of easy virtue uh no cinnamon no recent newspapers especially very little pickled cave herring could explore it we've talked to the first curator we haven't found his colors yet that he requested this will place 12 supplies with 12 tomb colonists who you'll need to take to three destinations in the Untersee. Mouse over your objective, tomb colonists' quality to learn the destination for each visit. Okay, so that'll be something uh, that we leave for when we actually have, when we bring lots and lots of supplies. We'll have to make that a, a unique designated visit. Um, locked with something of... To, let's explore Vendor Bite. Here they favor candlelight over gaslight. Okay, so this is just the description of Vendor Bite again. A tomb colonist hobbles towards you. I will not, she hisses fearly. I will not. Not for me, the sanatorium, nor the emergence. I lived and I will die. She draws a sword from her sash. You jump back. Tomb colonists, fearless and long experienced, are famed for their dueling skill. She raises her sword, flourishes it, and beheads herself with a triumphant cry. Oh my goodness. Her head bounces across the ground towards you. That's terrifying. Um, 
Yeah, no wonder I gained some terror from that, but I've got a relic from it, I suppose. Uh, wow. Let's check out the restaurant that we made it to. You have her head, literally. Yeah, yeah, no, I, that's... Is she alive? Because it seems like people are unable to die in the need. That, that's sort of why they come here, right? They're sort of unable to die. They just wear out. I wonder if she's still conscious. That is... That is just terrifying. A samples today's a sample today's special. The food here is exceptional. You need not fear poisoning or boredom. Definitely not boredom. That'll cost sixty echo. And reduce some terror. Uh, if we had a catch, we could give the catch and see if we could uh, get some money and some supplies from it. Recruit the abandoned poisonier. Oh my goodness. So he costs 300 echoes. Uh, but that would recruit him as a cook. Um, since we're going for Mount uh, Palmerston, I think we'll leave him here. But it'll be good to have a cook. Presuming. Which passage... Yeah, so I think I think it'd be good to have a cook. It seems like all the officers officer uh offer an upgrade. But I don't think it'll be our goal right now. Let's get a, let's get a meal. What the heck? We've got a, a few spare echoes. We've got so many more echoes that we usually show up with. The bandaged the bandaged poisonier, owner of the Vengeance of Jonah, has identified seven flavor which which are pleasant seven which are unpleasant, and seven which are neither. The flavors of this meal are chiefly of the first kind. Oh, that's nice. Lost some terror. We've got lost our hunger. Uh, we've lost echoes. Interesting. So I wonder if this has to do with any of the colors that the, uh, the curator was talking about. We've not witnessed his end, and I don't really want to... Uh, tempt fate due to that. So I think we'll call that good. We got the casks here. We got fuel. Oh, this is new. Is it? Perhaps not. So let's let's expand here. Do you have tomb colonists drop them off here for payment? We do, but we've also got um a destination for this particular one. Oh no, this isn't this isn't a tomb colonist at all. This is actually cargo in a tomb colonist shaped coffin. Um but I've actually forgotten to list down the economics of this. Um we do have quite a few memories of the distant shore, but we're not exactly short on echo right now. Uh, but I'll, I suppose I'll write it down to have a completed uh, sort of look at things. So we've got memories of a distant shore. And that sells for 12 echoes. Recent news is also being sold for... No, that's sold for 10. Visions of the surface are sold for 15. And we can get those over at the canal, I believe. And a monstrous almanac. We haven't found... Or even heard of that one before. So that will sell for a thousand, which would make us just as wealthy as this trip, really. Um, we'll have to keep an eye out. Out. Uh, we'll have to keep an eye out for that. But with that economy documented, I think it's time to sail the rest of the way to Mount Palmerston. You kind of just cut across here uh, and hope we don't run into anything nasty.
Do we want to purchase more fuel or supplies? Supplies are, are very much holding up here. How much is fuel selling for? I believe these are both 10 more than they sell for at port. Actually, you know, we've got uh, we've got a, a documentation of that. Yeah, fuel sends for sells for 10 on Fallen London and supplies sell for 20. So these are both 10 up. So I think we should be able to make it out there with six. Uh, so let's just launch and head across the water here uh, into the storm. Though, hopefully we can avoid these bat swarms. Cant's Abyss. I hope this isn't a whirlpool we're sailing into. I don't know if these abysses uh, lend to anything unsettling, um, or if they're just sort of divots in the water. That would, would naturally be terrifying, I agree, uh, but that don't ultimately represent a whole lot of harm. Sleep when you're dead, you're hurt. You're hurt, you should really be in bed. Spend time in bed or tough it out. Hmm. I do have the extra supplies, so maybe I will spend some time in bed. The sounds of the ship at Z, the toll of the watch bell, your eyes drift closed. We've healed up our final wound. Man, there are lots of storm, uh, lots of fog banks between us and Mount Palmerston. Boreal Reach. Is the snow? Touch it and it puffs to vapor. Your crew huddles close to the warmth of the pipe and funnel. Palmerston's Reach, there's brimstone on the winds and a distant bell. The music has picked up rather intensely. I hope we're not sailing into something dangerous here. Oh, we are sailing off into a ship that I do not want to do battle with because he looks much better armed than I am. I do recall having to sail all the way around Mount Palmerston uh, in order to avoid a ship. Uh-oh, yep. Is he sighted us? No, he is not. Okay, we're good. He has got a lot of health. He's got just as much health as the uh, ships on the southern edge of the map here. But it looks like we're doing all right. And we can turn the lights back on here. Uh, and sail around the point. Oh, no, there's another one. And we don't have the cover of fog to help us out here. Okay, because if he keeps turning, we can creep up past him on... His aft, I believe it's called. Okay, let's cut through here as close as possible. Okay, and he turned away. We're good. We have made it. And dock up at Port Palmerston. Uh, let's see. We could talk to the Wistful Devilus again. She didn't give us much last time. We tried to get into the Brimstone Convention. Um, but we might as well talk to her. It doesn't look like it costs us our awaits you in port. Look down and see Port Palmerston like a toy and the ruins like gravel. You've come far, but the volcano's cone still rears above you. Rest a little before you go the last half mile. Okay, she gives us some tea. Do you happen to have a case of souls for me? We don't usually eat souls. Not sure how the story got about. I just, I told you that I miss London. I miss hell. I'd like a keepsake and all souls are ours, you know, by right. So she is actually a devilus. Uh, she's, it's not just a, uh, my goodness. Okay. You could g give her our souls if we were to be menaced. Just lend me yours. Bites, your, bites her lip and looks up into your eyes. I'll keep it safe, much safer than at Z. If you drown, it'll be here with me for always. Mortals, you drown so. She places her slender, places a slender, sallow hand on your wrist. Through your cuff, it's warm as a stone in the sun. It won't hurt at all. Uh, but it... We could do that, but I feel, I'd feel bad for our, our uh, liaison and child at, at the home port. Um, 
So I think I will gently refuse. You do not at the moment feel that the Devilus needs any more human souls. I understand it's a little indelicate, but I've had so few human friends. I'm sorry if I'm tactless sometimes. Sit with me a while. Let's just talk. Oh, and I have this hamper of honey fungus your cook might find use for. Okay, so she gave us some more supplies. That's nice. So we could pick up another officer. But that would require some linen, which we don't have. And we've already got a first officer. So this one increases uh, iron, veils, and heart. Whereas uh, the one that we currently have increases the other two uh, aspects. Chat to the port folk about the Brimstone Convention. Um, yeah, we might as well get the port report here. And uh, let's go to the shops here. Oh, we can buy fuel at a slightly cheaper price than at home. Uh, as well as supplies at a little increased price, but we don't really need the supplies now. Uh, shoot, we should, we should note this down. Because um, I don't think we have any note as to the Palmerston economy. So, Palmerston... So it's Mount Palmerston, technically. Uh, you can buy fuel at uh, nine echoes and sell for one. You can get devil bone dice. At 19 echoes. which sells here for zero, but which sells at uh, in Fallen London for 20. So you'd only make a, a single echo of profit for that. Uh, an ambiguous eolith. Ambiguous eolith. Interesting. It looks like a rock, but the name suggests that it's something else. I don't think we've heard of those before. Uh, we can buy them for... 35 echoes we can't sell them at all or we can't we can't sell them for any money and lastly the zoop which we can buy for 70 echoes you were exactly right um and sell those not here uh, we'd sell those back at fallen london and the supplies uh, i suppose we'll note that down as well we could purchase for 22 Echoes and sell for 11. So I guess technically um, we could sell them for a profit if we just had them compared to uh, Fall in London because they sell for 10 in Fall in London and one more Echo here. But I think no matter what they cost, they consistently cost more than it they sell for, uh, so that it doesn't really matter. I think it always costs at least 20 from where we've seen them. But for now, let's pick up those seven zoops. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Double check we've got them. There we go. And assuming we make it back to Fallen London, we have now got a thousand echo payoff waiting for us. Only thing we have to do is make sure that we can get back there. Uh, we've got four fuel. Since it is cheaper here, we might as well buy some. I think we'll buy up to six. Uh, and I, the, the single devil bone dice echo profit, I don't think is wor really worth it. Um, and we haven't seen the ambiguous Eolith either. Uh, so I don't think we'll pick up either of those. And we still got plenty of supplies, so we obviously won't pick up that. Um, let's head out of here. Let's head back to Fallen London, buy a house, and say hello to our child. Okay. Now, stone, storm, 
Salt. Unnamed. Don't don't mess with us, please. I don't. Uh oh. I don't know why that came up. I didn't see anything. Um. Unlikely distant coincidence, perhaps. Hopefully. Uh, we'll turn off our light so this ship doesn't see us out here in the fog. Okay, he turned away. Turn back on that light so our crew doesn't get too anxious. Here the wilder airs mingle with the airs of the near reaches. Demo's gate named for... Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Uh... Turn around. Demo's gate, named for a navigator lost above how did his bones come below. Uh-oh. Can you see us? I hope not. I really would not like to tangle with that crab, because he looks like he would have a lot of health. Okay, we made it to Demo's Island. Western Anger angler crab. So I guess that's the first time we've ever seen the crab. Pr probably seen the crab with our light on. Uh, the Iron and Misery Co. Funging Station. We'll go and dock with you. Hopefully this ship won't cause us grief. Maybe he will. Can we dock anyway? We totally can. Forget about us, please. And this just buys and sells supplies. Um, honestly, it's not even worth listing down since they're both 10 above what we currently have. So our affable factor is still here. Thank God for visitors, we'd go quite mad at you otherwise. I think you're a little close there, my friend, already. We could explore the island. We could, I, I feel like we already picked up this, uh, this crewmate. Though, I I am a sucker for an unfortunate. Um, let's see, this does not cost a uh, an awaits you, so we'll pick up our port report. Might as well. I am sort of a sucker for picking up this poor corporate worker. Provide a respite for mushrooms, from mushrooms. Trade two strange caches for a Sooth and Cooper long box. Interesting. Um, hmm. Will it cost us our... Yes, it looks like it'll cost us our awaits you to pick her up. I want to... I'm sorry, we've, we've already picked up one, so I think we have to leave you behind. We are, we are crewed up well, so I think we'll have some tea with the factor. You sit on the veranda of the factor's home, house looking out over the fungal jungle. An expanse of green and sour gold. The air is thick with hovering spores. The scones are stale. Even the tea has a hint of mildew. But the factor is good company. He shares odd stories about the, the gant pole, where monsters swarm, about the seductions of the principle of, principles of coral, the infestations at Featherhaven. He has a load of bulgus frond carted aboard your ship. He waves away your thanks. I have eaten so much of the stuff that I fear I might be transformed entirely into fungus. He leans confidentially towards you. It, do, it happens, you know, but one does have to eat rather a lot of it first. So we gain some more supplies. We've lost a little bit of terror. And we've got, gotten um, all of the other options out of the way. Uh, shops. Yeah, this is this is a shop that has just those two options there. So I think we'll set out for home here. I guess we'll clear out whatever is in the middle of these um, between us and Dem uh, on Demu Island and Fallen London. Uh, hopefully, well, I guess we'll kind of just deal with this guy since we're not at a lack of things. Discovered a pirate steam pinnacle. Panace from Demu's Great. Are you going to cause an issue with us? It seems like you will. Oh, but you're going to miss. Which will give us the advantage on you. Kindly. Do not mess with us again, sir. Loot and scuttle her. Yep, let's go loot her. 
Uh, we've got a cache of curiosities. What do we have? Five supplies. Okay, so we got a, we got a fair bit of supplies now. Uh, which will be lucky because that way we will just um, be able to get back and buy some more fuel, assuming we set out back to sea. Hardtack and water and an unexpected box of nails. <laughs> Would-be wit remarks. The nails look tastier than the hardtack until an officer's glare silences her. <laughs> well, you know, sometimes you just gotta take what you get. And hardtack, while not like excessively tasty, it's still great. It's still a food source. We've got those dreams again. Let's see if we can get past it. Eyes in a face. The whole neath lit up like a snuffer masks. Something in the roof. This is storms. Yeah. Oh, and we've succeeded, actually. Okay. Uh, eyes in a face. You, yes, you say softly. You lay your hands on a sailor's burning forehead. There are storms in the roof. Hush, we won't join them yet. Okay, so we've we've gained some terror still. We've gained some fragments. But we have succeeded? Okay, interesting. I guess that's considered a success, which I'm not necessarily sure I'd classify it as, but uh, we will definitely take it. Okay, and we're clearing out some of this unfound area. Home. Warmly lit windows, company, peace. Thoughts of home come at the strangest times. We are on the way home. Uh, we just have to make it past the area where we are. Have we discovered this yet? Yes, that'll be Hunter's Keep. Just this last little area of sea that is unexplored. Let's see, this is the. Yep, that's the light ship. Uh, I appreciate you, my friend, but we shan't stop this time uh, because we have people to get home to. Sailors dawdle at the rail, watching for signs of home. Horn. Pressing the H key will blow your horn. This has no useful function and may provoke nearby Z-beast or hostile vessels. I'm not entirely sure why that would be a function then. But you know? We'll announce our return home. Oops, that's not the one. There it is. Let's collect some messages here. Blind bruiser attends to business on the dock. Somebody else wants to sign on. Okay. So, let's talk to our venturer here. Something warming. They sell it in Mount Palmerston, somewhere in the north of the Untrazi. 1,000 echoes for seven sealed skins. There you go. It's a specialist's taste. But where I'm going, they're a specialist customer. One more thing. Um, something spicy. They harvest it in Wither to the north along the coast. 700 echoes. Find seven skins of Zoop or seven packages of Mooter Salt. Find seven packages of Mooter Salt or seven Devil Bone Dice. You have this? I guess we don't have Devil Bone Dice, surely. Uh, doesn't look like it. Okay, so he's just got an off uh, a different trade. And he wants seven packages of Mooter Salt or seven Devil Bone Dice. Okay, so they're just any of the uh, options here. Oh, no, okay, I see, I see. 
Uh, so we, we've unlocked these by getting those Zoop delivered. Uh, so now we have to find Moosher Salt or uh, Devil Bones Dice. Devil Bones Dice is in Mount Palmerston, and Moosher Salt is actually in Wither, which I believe we've found before. Uh, yeah, Wither. It's it's the area of questions up here. Interesting. So we could return to Wither. I think I think if we were to do that, we would. Uh, if we were to do either of these, we would go to Wither, uh, just so we could redocument the economy up there, uh, as well as explore around. Because I'm actually interested by uh, the area of questions that they've kind of got around there. Um, but while we're at shore. Let's go see if we can do anything. So we've got 1088 Echoes. Uh, can we sell anything to increase our Echo without buying the house? Uh, or before buying the house, rather. Because we could get it now. We could definitely do that. But it would be sort of inconvenient. Um, it, it only leave us with 88 echoes if we wanted to continue on this sort of thing. Uh, and we would have fuel, I think from the, well, let's, let's, let's stop, um, going about the possibilities and let's turn in our port reports to see how much fuel we'll have. Give them the hunter's keep, which will give us a little bit of that and some fuel. The Palmerstons, which will give us... Okay, that'll give us a lot of Echo. Demu, which is a decent bit. And I think that's all the ports we visited. So now... Okay, that's a little more comfortable. So I think what we shall do is um, head to our lodgings. We can read our papers to pick up some recent news. The Echo Bazaar, that enigmatic ma uh, marketplace, has increased its tax on love stories. The traitor empress has forbidden singing in the street outside her palace. The anarchists of the Calendar Council have inexplic inexplicably dynamited a drinking fountain. The Ministry of Public Decency has located and destroyed a nest of gall blighter wasps. Hmm. Those are everything there. I do not recognize except for the... Bazaar, I suppose that's the full name of it, the Echo Bazaar, and uh, the Ministry of Public Decency. Apparently, the Calendar Council is a anarchists, or maybe anarchists are an offshoot of it, and the Traitor Empress is somebody who, who I am completely unfamiliar with, as well as whatever gallblighter wasps are, but judging by the name, I assume they're not very friendly. So, I think... Hmm... I'd like to see we've got five fuel that would be enough for another trip down to the salt lions and that would be enough to bring us up but we wouldn't have enough to purchase them when we got there so maybe after we're done here we'll head out to oh you know what? we can actually sell our relic here our, our poor head of the self-decapitated Poor uh, tomb traveler. For only five echo, but we do need. We'll get uh, antiquarian in just two more given. This would be so terribly wasted in an ossuary. She or he buffs the cranium with a sleeve. I think a climbing briar rose will suit this one rather well. A yellow rose, perhaps. Thank you very much. Let's keep this between ourselves. So now we know the ratio of skulls to souls. 12.6 skulls for one soul. Yeah, uh, I suppose that is the uh, the deal there. But man, that is what a what a poor lady. What a poor lady. I wonder why she decapitated herself. I, I hope she's dead. I hope she is dead and not alive while she gets a rose planted in her.
could give her a tale of the deep, but we've got a limit on that. We've got memories of distant shores. We got four of those. Let's see how those trade for. As the alarming scholar listens in, tears well in the depths of those shining, or is it blazing eyes? They overflow, splashing on the desk blotter. Stop, he or she sobs at last. This is too, too beautiful. Allow me to bring the macaw of memories. I wish each individual tone to be recalled. Each individual tone recalled. Okay, so those trade for 10. And you know, we could trade her one more to get this uh, antiquarian in there. Let's do it. Antiquarian is increased to four. We made a few more echoes. So what is antiquarian? That's a favor. Let's check our journal here. Okay, so I guess that's similar to the Admiralty's favor, where we just we were able to trade it for something. We haven't Hmm. We haven't had anything here that she or he looks like we can trade for. And evidently did this move? I swear it used to be a searing enigma that we could have previously have traded to him or her that would cause them to become permanently unavailable, but I guess it was just a dread surmise. Yeah, I get, uh, hmm, maybe, maybe it changes. It has always been a dread surmise, okay. Uh, in that case, yeah, if we ever find one of those and we want the scholar to depart. Oh, I see, there we go, and locked with seven searing enigma. That's why I got a bit confused on that. So, we have got the ability to hire on more crew. We could repair our ship. Um, maybe we'll do that since we've got the, we have got the money for it. So it'd be five echo or 25 echo and a favor. That I think is an option. Though I kind of want to try out these, these Radis favor engineers. Because they cost three supplies, and we've got an excess of supplies at the moment. You know, let's let's give it a shot. Let's see how the rats do. A benevolent infestation. Rats sweep over your ship like a tide. Day and night, their tiny tools click. Your crew steps over them cautiously. Eventually, the rat tide withdraws. How good a job have they done? We were fortunate we've gained 22 hull. Five terror, because we were surrounded by rats, and lost five supplies. Okay, well, we've still got a fair bit of supply. Uh, they did repair our ship to full. I, for a second, I thought they had increased our maximum health, but it doesn't look like that's the case. But they did steal a little bit more supply than they said that they would. Uh, but it is a, fair, a fairly good option if we are out of Echo and we have an excess of supply for some reason. It'll be a more useful use of those than just selling off in the shops. Let's see. Do we need... I think we'll buy... You know what? To, to end it off, since we're kind of getting to the end of stream time, I think we'll buy just one more fuel, and we'll make a quick run down to the Salt Lions. Oh, we'll take one last run before we purchase our lodgings. Um... Yeah, let's do that. I don't think I don't think we're missing anything out here. We'll say hello. Uh, we'll just say hello. I've got to make a better house. Um, and we don't. But well, we do have a little terror, so I suppose we'll sleep the night away for ten more echo, which only gave us one, but it'll give us a little more defense against nightmares, apparently. Okay, so now we can leave the confines of the shore and head down to the salt lions. Is 
So assuming the previous deal holds, it'll cost us 200 to make 300 echoes of profit. And we haven't picked up anything illegal, though. Uh, we did have the Devilus ask for some souls. I believe uh, the souls that we could have gotten would have been over at the Iron, let's see, the Iron Republic. I think they were selling souls there, or maybe that was at uh, Fallen London itself. So if we did want to risk that, we could buy them there and sail it up to uh, Vanderbite, maybe? No, I think that's Demu. No, 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 Mount Palmerston, that's the one, that's the one, because she's up on the uh, edge of that, uh, what's it called, the, the volcano up there, where all of the citizens go to do something? We're not sure yet. We haven't been there. Uh, let's see, we're coming up on the salt lines. We have to head a little further south. I do wish there was a little mini-map or something that we could pop up. Uh, maybe that's something for a navigator, I would say, but it doesn't look like it. Oh, and we found a Corvette here. Okay, I don't want to have to deal with you just yet. Oh, but it seems like... Oh. Nope, we're good. Okay. We were in range for a moment, but they didn't seem to see us. Or maybe they didn't want to deal with us as well. Hold on a moment. Who is targeting me? Far off, very far off, someone screams. I wonder what that's all about. I wonder what that event is regarding, because... I haven't really noticed anything. Uh oh he is chasing us. Well, it's a good thing we're in port then. Um, but I haven't really noticed anything that would change to do that. Maybe that's a locational thing, but I've seen it all over the map. I suppose we'll see. Let's see. We could use our something waste to visit the Unmakers again. But I suppose we'll just get a port report. I kind of want to see what the salt rights are. You know, we'll check them out, since this could be our captain's last voyage out, assuming he settles down with his, his child. The face of the northern sphinx is all but gone. Lost faces are sacred to salt, they say. You are drawn there. But to what end? Salt's voice is distant but clear. Dive from the sphinx's face down a clean arc into the Z's chilly darkness. Float there in the quiet until your lungs are bursting, until light blooms behind your eyes. Rise, gasping to the prickle of false stars, the shocked faces of your crew. You've brought something with you. We have an extraordinary implication. Interesting. I believe this is sold to the Admiral, from what I can remember. I believe that's one of the things that he picks up. And I think that if we find another of them somehow, we can convert it into something a little better. But for now, uh, we'll just pick up our Sphinx Stone. And we will make a run back to... Okay, let him turn around. Make a run back to Fallen London. Hopefully without this fellow. Uh-oh. Yep, there he comes. Okay. Uh, let's burn some... Some fuel here. To try to get away. Beware, your engines will occasionally explode. Well, that's not pleasant. I really don't want to deal with him, though. I can't do enough damage to really get him to let off here. So it looks like we've traveled far enough away that he won't chase us. Also, you lost salt attention. We also lost salt attention, but I think we can talk to one of the sisters to regain it. I would absolutely not retire at this point in the game. You're like 2% into the game. That's what I was thinking. I, was, I wasn't I was sure if um, progress is cumulative, sort of like something like uh, Rogue, uh, Rogue Legacy, um, where you can just have captains sort of follow up as to where previous captains were. But uh, since you are uh, more knowledgeable about the game here, I think I will follow your advice um, 
especially since there's so much of the map that we haven't explored with this captain. Uh, and it's not as though we're doing poorly or anything. Uh, so I think our captain will simply build a lovely little mansion at home uh, for his child and, well, let's say wife. Maybe we'll propose to her once we get that mansion. You keep some benefits, okay. Do you keep uh, map exploration or ships, something like that? Most of your progress stays with the captain himself. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah, because I know we can send stuff down, uh, like like they've been mentioning, the, the artifacts. Um, but I wasn't sure if there were more, if it was more interconnected than that. And a beetle has gotten back into our ship's biscuits. Uh, to that crew, I say that you get extra protein. If the captain goes, the progress goes. Okay, I see. So we'll try to keep this one alive then. Some things are too illegal for the custom service to admit the existence of. The ministry are here looking for them. Uh, we don't have red honey, gifts for the pirate king, or more red honey. Vials or uh, firkin. And we, I, I don't want to spend 500 echo to uh, bribe them. So I think, yeah, that's fine. They leave scuff marks on the newly scrubbed decks and take great pleasure in tangling the rigging. They find nothing more dangerous than a moldy ship's biscuit. Oh, hey, and we lost a little bit of suspicion as well. Uh, we didn't lose any before the last time that they uh, came aboard, uh, but I believe that was because we didn't have suspicion higher than five. As soon as the gangplank touches the quay side, the terrors of the deep Z lighten. Walk taller, smile more readily, but what dreams may cling? Uh, oh, and that reduced our terror back down to 50. And we have a menace nightmare's strength. Uh-oh. That's concerning. I wonder if we can get rid of that somewhere. Has the harbor master anything to change for us? Something changed. Someone wants to sign on. The bruiser still somewhere unidentifiable and Rose Market still hasn't changed okay first let's drop off our Sphinx Stone that doesn't cost anything still and we'll just go through the quick uh, the quick notations for that all the documents we've got to get signed let's See if we can find our child. Uh, no, we have to improve our lodgings first. Here we go. Let's get that lovely townhouse we've had our eye on. You purchase an elegant townhouse, a good address on Hollow Street. It won't be cheap. Zaylor's service. You have your crew cart things from the blind helmsman to your new address. If anyone respectable calls, they'll pass as servants. Resting is now more expensive, but more effective. Okay. We now live in that elegant townhouse. Hold up. So we, we bought a townhouse, but it's somehow more expensive to sleep there? Interesting. Okay. Here you may catch up with your correspondence, rest, or retire altogether from the seafaring life. The better your lodgings, the better the quality of your retirement, naturally. So let's go talk to our child. You, your sweetheart, and your child. What will your child call you? Father. Yes, you are the child's father. Uh, yeah, I think I think we'll be a friendly father. We don't need him to call us captain here. Here it is. Small, warm, apprehensive, affectionate creature. Treat it gently. You may visit your child at your lodgings when you gain a free evening. You always get free evenings when you return to London, but here's one now. Oh, that's nice. We have just one free evening, though. Your sweetheart comes and goes. They have their own complicated business, but they always return to your shared home and your child. Uh, we could visit our study. Once your lodgings are large enough to support a study, you can create items such as an ironclad will, whispering trophy cabinet, or song, Zong of the Sea. So Zong of the Z, both with Zs. We can rest here, but it costs a hundred echo, my goodness. It will heal two wounds 
and give two restful nights, though. We could sell the townhouse if we come under uh, severe financial hardship. Um, we don't have the ability to do that, probably because um, we just purchased it, I'd say. We don't have any heirlooms. And we could upgrade it to a Z-side mansion. Uh, with 10,000 echoes, my goodness. So I think we will spend a night with our family. It's a delight, but will it always be a delight? The Zaylor knows two words. Worlds. If you give suitable presents to your child, they will gain sea fever. If sea fever reaches 25, they will decide to run away to, the, to sea, becoming your scion. This will establish a permanent dynasty of future Z captains. Interesting. Tell tales of far lands or tales of the Z. Um, hmm. I think we'll tell them. Well, they're, they're sort of small. We'll tell them uh, just the tales of distant lands here instead of the, the time we almost died surrounded w without fuel, surrounded by very hungry sailors. Or Zaylers, I suppose. Your child's eyes grow round as pennies. They store up the memories as dream fuel. Much later, you find the scene you describe scrawled on a full scap sheet by a childish hand. Oh, we've lost a lot of terror for that. Uh, but we do have five memoirs of Z fever. Interesting. Uh, so I suppose we can deliver our port reports to the uh, Admiralty to get a few echoes and some fuel. Do we have anything else here to do? Check out the Roser's Wharf. Still needs a solace fruit and still looking for an outlandish artifact. The scholar is still doing scholarly things, though I don't really need to give her anything, uh, nor do I have the particular desire to. Uh, and we've got the brisk campaigner. Oh, and we've got a doctor here as well. Haunted doctor. Well, if we pick him up, we would have a uh, both a haunted navigator as well as a haunted doctor in addition to this other. There are a lot of doctors in Fallen London, I'm noticing. Uh, there's not just the one that we've got that we've picked up. We've got the campaigner as well as this one. Um, but I think, since it doesn't seem like there's anything else here, uh, that we can do. Oh, you know what? Before we go, we will visit our study here. The clock ticks, the gaslight wickers. Shadows lie quiet. Create a shrine to stone. You know the hymns, the prayers, the traditions. Perhaps you believe, perhaps you don't. But it'll comfort the zailers. The process of creating the Shrine to Stone will increase your hearts by seven, as high as 200, and the Shrine is an auxiliary item worth a further seven. Interesting. So that is unlocked with something. Maybe just unlocked by the fact that they exist with a captivating treasure. Create an anatomical cabinet. You've learned so much. Now create an object lesson that will guide you in the destruction of your enemies, which will increase our iron, it looks like. With supplies, lamentable relics, and secrets. Create a serene aquarium. You know, the secret of this peculiar specimen. Construct an environment that will display it to its best advantage. Considering I feel like all of the creatures we've found have been as big as the ship, if not larger, I don't know how well this would turn out. But that'll increase mirrors uh, and requires a live specimen and more secrets. A monstrous almanac. You could fill whole shelves of notebooks with what you've learned at Z, its monsters, its treasures, and its secrets, and so you will. Um, that also requires uh, artifacts, though, uh, outlandish ones rather than 
the lamentable relics. A whispering trophy case. Uh, yes. Yes, when the bones are in place, you will hear them while you sleep. That is just super creepy. Uh, and apparently requires a strange catch. Or we could write a will. We don't um, really have anything that we would need to use as a will. We don't have any heirlooms. We do have the lodgings, I suppose, and we have the child, but he doesn't really want to head out to sea yet. The court of chancery, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom it may devour. Ensure it doesn't get its lion tentacles on your property when you're gone. That's uh, an interesting lion. Adorn your lodgings with captivating treasures, which turn them into heirlooms. This is the way to pass on money to your next character. You can have more, no more than twelve heirlooms or sixteen in a mansion. You'll need to write a small, f and you'll need to pay a small fee to write these treasures into your will. Uh, again, those are things we don't have. Oh, look at this. Well, we can we could convert. A collection of outlandish artifacts, um, but write the zong, the zong of the Z. You have assembled a lore, a store of lore and a collection of antiquities. Your knowledge as the Z of the Z rivals that of any captain of history. Write it all down. This will create the zong of the sea, which allows you to ha retire happily if you have the right, if you have the correct ambition, and is a pretty nifty item in its own right. It requires the cabinet, aquarium, shrine, almanac, and trophy case, which can all be created here in your study. Interesting. So I suppose this is the end game. Um, yeah, so this would be the end game sort of pursuit. It seems like we'll have, it looks like we'll have to get all of these first. Uh, so unless our captain is uh, absurdly lucky, I have a feeling this will be passed down to future generations to do. Um, but it looks like it has port reports of a few different places that all seem very, uh, very important because we've, we've found King Eater's castle and that seems like a very interesting place. And, uh, Mount Palmerston is definitely something spooky up on the mountaintop. Okay. Well that, I guess that'll be something to pursue as we head down further down the line. But hey, we've we've got a mansion, or well, we don't we don't have a mansion, but we have a uh, a very nice place, our our elegant townhouse. We have a child now. I'm going to assume I, I'm just going to assume that our uh, lover said yes, and now she is our wife. I'd say that that is a successful uh, stream. I'd say that we've done quite a bit the stream. We've gotten ourselves out of the single and double digit echoes, so we've got a little more to work with here. Uh, I think the next time that we will stream this will be uh, not this coming Friday, but the Friday after that, uh, unless I add Tuesday and Thursday streams to my schedule, at which point uh, it'll change it up a little bit. Um, but no, this is, yeah, this is a really great game. I'm super curious to see the rest of the Z that we've uh, not explored yet, especially considering we've made it all the way to the other side of the map, even if we haven't seen anything over there other than that island we got moved to um but yeah thanks everybody for for tuning in it was a good time uh, i had a great time playing this so uh next friday we'll pick this up uh this friday will be out but next monday will be the next stream that i do that'll be uh the, uh, the minecraft mod pack for Sevtech ages uh and i'll look forward to seeing any of you either then or friday all right cheers everybody